Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another live stream. We're checking out a brand new game today. Uh, this one is not actually even fully out yet. This is Above Snakes. I know I've been checking out a variety of games lately uh, that are not in full release, and that's because uh, Steam Next Fest is coming up, as well as Game Fest. And so all these companies are pushing out demos of their games and trying to get out more information and stuff out there. Uh, I was speaking with the... Uh, the, the um, not the developer of the game, but the publisher of the game, uh, Crytivo, uh, about another game. And they mentioned that uh, they have a demo out for this one, which is Above Snakes, uh, that I should try out. So I thought uh, I thought we'd give it a whirl. Uh, it's kind of a unique looking game. I've seen it played uh, by a number of creators a, a few months ago. Uh, but I'm sure there's been some development in the game since then. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I really do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Uh, so we're going to just, I guess, dive right into this. It's kind of a unique looking game. Uh, where are we here? Here we go. Look for ripples in the water if you're up for some fishing. I'm going to need all the tips I can, I can get in this one because uh, I haven't played it before. I took a quick look by loading it up just to make sure it was going to work. Because, <laughs> you know, you never know what it does when you download something. And, uh, yeah. So we got stuff to do. Corpse Creek, 1883. A small town in the west of this beautiful country. It was a peaceful evening, but suddenly... The darkness of the midnight sky was interrupted by a brilliant green light. The anomaly was followed by a flurry of stones of flame that fell upon this otherwise quiet town. Folks stormed from their homes, dazed by the sky, illuminated up above. It didn't take long for the first of the meteors to reach the earth with a massive bang. Those who survived took their loved ones to the graveyard of Corpse Creek the following day. As the bodies lay freshly buried and the local preacher Noah gave his last blessing, the ground rumbled. A hand burst out from the graves, reaching towards the sky. While folks were quick to pull their firearms free, they were unable to fight the loved ones they only just buried. But they would soon discover that those that had arisen were no longer human. You, Ayana, have been living in the woods near Corpse Creek for a while now. You felt distant to the settler's way of living, but their tragedy leaves you with no other choice. They need your help. Time to return to Corpse Creek. So this is uh, this game above snakes is uh, is really different in terms of like a survival game. Uh, I'm gonna just quickly skip through that. Uh, it has a lot of the same kind of elements of your your standard survival game. So we have to like run around and gather sticks and stones and food and all that kind of stuff, but. We build the world as we go, so we don't actually start with the full world revealed. We're just on a tile, uh, and as we kind of do our exploration and, and stuff, we get the ability to add additional tiles to the world, making the world bigger and adding access to different resources and things. Uh, that's just for my backpack. So we got to search and find uh, find sticks. I need to make uh, an axe because we're gonna need to chop down some stuff, and that's in here. Oh, I need a total of three twigs. Gotta keep searching. <laughs> Corpse Creek, yes, let's buy a place and settle down there. I know, it sounds like such a quiet place, doesn't it? Make ourselves an axe so we can chop down a tree. Hey, just Gary, how you doing? Uh, Alright, so we have an axe. Chopping trees. With this axe, I can take down trees to get wooden logs. So we're gonna chop some trees after we equip our fancy axe. Uh, this basically just says that weapons or tools, we can, we'll can swing whatever we actually have equipped at the time. Uh, so we've got a, an axe. The funny thing is this axe is made entirely out of sticks. So I'm not, I'm not really uh, super confident in its ability to knock a tree down, but you know, whatever. We'll give it a whirl anyway. It's not doing a ton of damage, but we'll, do, we'll make it work. All right, tree chops. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but fox will never eat me. That's right, because I'm not a zombie yet. All right, rocks are another useful resource. So I should make a pickaxe and smash some rocks. And what are we gonna make a pickaxe out of? That's right, sticks. Because sticks break rocks. That's how things work. I'm gonna gather some of these up. So you've got a, you've got a stick in your axe. Did you play this as an E3 demo? I recall seeing this game before. Yeah, so I didn't, but uh, I know a couple of other creators that uh, that played this around four months ago. I actually saw Dre play it about four months ago. Uh, I had kind of forgotten about the game, to be honest. Uh, and as I said earlier... I was talking with Cartivo, the developer, or sorry, the um, the publisher for the game, uh, and they mentioned I should give it a whirl. Okay, we have a pickaxe. It's made entirely out of wood, and so that's naturally going to be used to break rocks. 
Sounds kind of like Minecraft with wood axe and pickaxe, pretty much. Success! I mean, that's kind of like every every survival game. You always seem to end up with these uh, these wooden tools and stuff first. Don't starve. Using heavy tools makes me feel hungry and thirsty. I could eat something. Luckily, there are also lots of berry bushes around that hold nutritious berries. So we're gonna gonna chomp down on that. Pickaxe that bush to see what happens. <laughs> Your needs. So on the bottom right are our different needs. We got our thirst. We have hunger. Uh, this one's here is for fatigue, sanity. We have to control, and then we also have our life total, of course, as well. I'm curious to see when the actual zombies will show up, because I know that there, uh, I know there are zombies. Um, let's eat. Oh yeah, satisfy that hunger, baby. Explore the world. To progress through these environments, I need to rely on my map. Unfortunately, large parts of it are still blank. I have to scout the surroundings to fill in those blanks. So this meter here at the bottom is our scouting meter, and as we fill that up, we'll discover a new tile that we can place to expand on the map and make the area that we can work within a little bit bigger. We get access to different resources and things. Yeah, yeah, sanity is... Oh no, Crypt is screwed! So... I guess we'll have to, uh, we'll gather all the berries that we have here, because, I mean, food's probably a good thing. I can see that my hunger bar is not, uh, not exceptional right now. We'll crack down some more trees and get some more wood. I'm not sure what our total carry capacity is like. This is our backpack here. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a weight restriction, so it's going to be probably just based on the number of items in our bag, and that's, uh, that's a good thing, I guess. Zombies in 1883, who knew? Yeah, they, they, uh, they, they cropped up because of, uh, you know, the whole meteor thing. Nope. Oh, I can spin the map, too! I didn't even know I could do that. Look at that. I did a thing. Totally by accident, but I did it. Totally by accidentally planned. Don't control sanity. See what happens when you go insane. <laughs> well, they did mention I uh, in one of the pop-up things there that... Um, one of the things that affects your sanity is, uh, is digging graves and burying people. So, I'm, I'm gathering we're gonna have to do some of that. I guess that makes us kind of unhappy. Can't imagine why. I'm also interested to see what it's going to take for us to rest. Because we do have a uh, fatigue meter down here. One more berry and we should be good. Jackpot. Alright, new tiles ready to be discovered. So press C. Okay. Scouting done. Select a new tile to place. So we can do planes. Is that it? All we got is planes? Okay, I guess we're getting another plane. There we go. Junk. <laughs> workbench! Looks like a good place to build a shelter. To start building, I need to make a workbench. Of course, I need plant fibers. So we need to get plant fibers. Naturally, we need plant fibers. Uh, because that's what we do in survival games. We make, we make a lot of things out of plant fibers. New craftable discovered workbench. Okay, so with these fibers uh, and the wood we gathered already, I guess we're gonna make a bench that'll open up some more things that we can craft. Maybe we can actually make a house. I'm thinking like a two-story, maybe a four-story mansion kind of thing. All right, how do we craft a workbench now? Oh, there it is. That's easy enough. Three logs and uh, one plant fiber. All right. Easy peasy. Now, now we gotta set up the workbench. I guess we'll just set it over here because I don't, I don't know if it, I don't know if it matters exactly where we put it. All right. To interact with the workbench, press F. Uh, with your workbench, you can build, uh, cra so you can craft building parts to create shelter, cra crafting stations to refine your resources, and useful as well as decorative furniture. Upgrading workbench enables additional crafting recipes, but requires certain materials. Your workbench determines the area you can build in. Oh, so I guess it doesn't matter where I put the workbench down. <laughs> Whoops! New home. To make a base, I need to set up a foundation and attach walls. Walls with windows and a door to it. Oh my god, this game's unrealistic. They want me to use doors. I don't do doors in games. I need a roof to protect from the weather. Okay, I guess, uh, I mean, I guess a roof makes sense. We can do that. 
Okay, so here's what we need. Uh, looks like we need the logs and rocks for that kind of stuff. There's a cartography table. That's cool. We'll make a bonfire, hay bed. Oh, good. We're gonna sleep on a bunch of hay made of plant fiber. Wall with door, wall with window. All right. Oh, we can upgrade the workbench too if we find our find beeswax and stuff along the way. That's a thing. Right? How dare they require a door? Don't they know who I am? Uh, why am I using a stick? There we go. That's better. Can't chop down a tree with a stick, but if you tie three sticks together, then it works. Alright, that got me, I think, the wood that I need for the floor piece anyway. We're gonna start out with a small shelter, because I, 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 we have a limited number of trees that we can access in this particular uh, little tile set we have. Uh, so we'll craft that. One foundation. Boop. How big is this foundation? Oh, it's actually... It's a little smaller than I thought it was. We might want to make more than one of those, I think. <laughs> oh, look! They just told me how to rotate the camera that I already figured out by accident. Ooh, look, I can roll! I'm a gymnast! They'll never get me now! Ooh, she really speeds up when you roll, too. That's, that'd be a good getaway. I wonder if that tires me out more. Is there a point at which you roll too much and you get dizzy? You are truly special. That's right, I'm the Olympic kind of special. Okay, I need, uh, I need more tree. Get me more tree. Hey, Crip, drop a tree at a rock. You're welcome. Uh, I'd love to. Except I don't have any trees that are near rocks, I don't think. I'm assuming the tree breaks the rock, or does the rock break the tree? I mean, I guess if I've already chopped the tree down, then it'd be more like the, uh, the tree breaking the rock, but whatever. Don't get dizzy when you roll because it stay the same way and ground rolls around you. Oh, is that what it is? I can still see that being dizzying, though. New tile is ready. What? What new tile? Those are other, other workbench tiers we haven't unlocked yet. Alright, let's make, uh, well, we can make, oh. Only one log each for these? Okay, that took fewer resources than I thought it was going to. I thought these were more expensive, I don't know why. We have a floor! It's like, it's the most glorious home I've ever seen. You know, except when it rains. Or, or when the sun's out. Or if there's animals. But otherwise, it's perfect. Okay, so we've got, uh, we got that. I guess we're gonna need some walls. Um... I guess we'll make, uh, well, we'll make four walls, because I've got the resources for it, and then we'll have to go chop more trees down. Hey, Vox, have you discovered fire yet? Forest fire? Ha ha ha. Nope, no fires yet. I, I kind of want to avoid forest fires, because I, uh, I only have so many trees in this little, little section of tiles I have right now, you know? That's, that's maybe not ideal. If I, if I burn down the only trees I have, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm out of wood, um, and that's a problem. I think it's po it's not Pocahontas. What's her name? Ayasha or something? They seem to have gone with uh, the the uh, the Native American look, but Bro, what is my question? Listen, I don't see any six foot tall plants with interesting leaves around it. What was Oh! Ha! I dropped the tree on a huckleberry bush. Uh and I got huckleberries out of it. I feel like it should give me, like, huckleberry jam or something, because it can just smush them into, like, fine paste. Doing migrating sands in Icarus is going to take on Shai Halud. That means nothing to me, unfortunately, because <laughs> I haven't done those things. Oh, wait, wait, let's see if we can drop this tree on this rock and see if that helps. I, I don't know if it automatically falls away from me or if it will fall to the side or what. Acquiring minds want to know. Ooh, got a critical hit on that tree. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Bam! It worked! I don't feel like I got that many logs out of the tree, considering how tall it was. Told it makes for easy resources, doubling up using trees. Yeah, I, uh, I could see that being the case. Except that when it broke on the rock, it seemed like I got fewer logs. I thought I'd get at least three from that, but... 
No such luck. Whatever. It's fine, I'm sure. Sure, it's fine. Workbench! Okay. Um, we'll craft one of these. Now yeah, let's craft two of them. We'll put a window at the front and the back. We'll get a door. Yeah, we'll make two windows at the back. Why not? We'll be fancy like. Why can't I get on my. There we go. It's like I built a house and I can't get into it. It's impossible. Alright, I gotta build a roof now. Oh, neat. The door opens on its own. In. Out. In. Out. Okay. Roof. More logs. Uh, I'm gonna need at least four of these, and I've only got enough for three, so we gotta go chop another tree. Here we go with the spamming. All oh, the bots make their return, as always. Looks like rolling causes fatigue. Probably, probably chopping trees and stuff down does too. I didn't realize I already strip mined all the trees off of this one section. Oh, I can discover a new tile. Ooh, there we go. Uh, select tile. I guess we'll put it over here. Clunk. Fortunately, that gives us access to more trees because uh, we're already kind of out of them. <laughs> oh, there's one left. We'll chop this one down. It's a double hinge speaking door. It's like one of those doors at the back of like an old diner. It goes into the kitchen. Give me that fiber too. Love me some fiber. Gotta make sure we stay regular, you know? Uh, with a shovel, I can get rid of the tree stump. I'm not gonna do that right now, I guess. Alright, workbench. We need four of these. I want to rotate. There we go. Well, that's easy building. Cartography. The land is full of mysteries to explore. To be able to do that, I need to make a cartography table to work on my map. So build a cartography table and then research new tile on the cartography table. All right, we can do that. Maybe, uh, maybe the cartography table gives me access to new tile types instead of just new tile section. Ink. Where the heck do I get ink? Hmm. Uh, I wonder if I have ink that I can craft in here. There's ink. Feathers and huckleberries. Well, where do I get feathers from? This confuses me. I need to find, like, a bird or something I can smack with a wooden axe. Oh. I have lots of huckleberries, at least. The fish for feathers? Oh, brilliant idea. That's what we'll do. I wonder if at some point, like, chopping down trees will cause, like, birds to, like, drop out or something. Wait, what if I search the tree? Is it always gonna give me a branch? Feathers! <laughs> Look at that, I found it. Alright, so searching the trees sometimes gives you feathers. A new tile is ready to be discovered. Just like that. Actually, let's go like this. Clunk. It's kind of satisfying the way they drop into place, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Sigma Hun, how you doing? Is her name Dances with Bears? Yeah. Either that or Breakfast with Bears. Breakfast for Bears? I don't know. She's something. Snipe Hunt equals feathers. Uh, okay, we can make the ink now. So that's accomplished. And then in here, we can make our cartography bench, cartography table, whatever. And I don't want to be heathen, so we're going to put it inside where it's... Oh, I have no walls. That's interesting. They just sort of vanish. That takes up a lot of space. New tile researchable. Check out cartography table. Okay, so we have the planes available to us now. Although planes is spelled funny. It should actually be P-L-A-I-N-S. But, uh, you know, who's splitting hairs here? <laughs> Uh, then we can do Plains to Pine Forest. It takes four rocks to research it, so let's do that. Biomes. During your journey, you'll come across different biomes. You can place those biomes wherever you want on the map, but you need to make sure to create transitions between each of those. 
The biome on the edge of each tile needs to match the surrounding tile. Think about uh, that when you're placing a new tile. Okay, so I do notice that um, we don't have water. I'm assuming if I if I drink the berry or eat the berries rather, that'll give me some hydration. But oh, thirst reduces over time by eating dry, sweet, or salty food. I see. I should have read more of that instead of pontificating. Uh, research and place a pine forest. All right, add that. New researchable tile. I need rocks. Gotta throw some rocks at him. Plus five hunger, plus two thirst. Okay, so yeah, the berries do help with thirst. That's good, because I don't have a water source right now. Uh, if I craft a hammer, I can adjust my builds. Alright, I can do that. No, I can't. I can do it eventually. It looks like my tools don't have durability either, which is nice, because they're not going to break on me. Yeah, <laughs> airplanes. <laughs> I don't know though so much that we're parachuting into the new area as it is that the area new areas are parachuting into us. Because they just sort of like fly in and land. Maybe that's where the name came from. These uh these new uh, new terrain tiles, they arrived by plane. Even though it's only 1883, they had secret plane technology. Keep on making wholesome vids. I watch them almost every day, even when I'm not supposed to. Okay, well, thanks, Luke. Even when you're not supposed to. <laughs> All right. Cryptic Fox. Getting people in trouble since 2015. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to need a bed at some point, but maybe I should make the thing they're telling me to make. Boop. All right, I have a hammer. Adjusting structures with the hammer. Oh, look how tiny this building was. Uh, when equipping your hammer, you can... Edit builds and furniture. Items can be moved, rotated, and even put back in your inventory. All right, all right. How do I adjust the things in my hotbar? Upgrade your workbench. If I upgrade my workbench, I'm able to build uh, more and more complex things. Every workbench level requires certain resources for upgrading. So we'll need to upgrade this puppy. Uh, and that's going to require beeswax. Which again, I'm sort of hoping we can find in a tree somewhere, since I don't see any really obvious beehives anywhere. But let's, uh, let's make a bed. I'm sure at some point it's going to tell me to do it anyway, so... We'll just, uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Rotate. Nice second. <laughs> I'm literally going to be sleeping on hay, on hay bales. This is great. Press and hold. Rest requires nighttime. Okay, well it's not it's not nighttime. Oh, got thirsty. Making a bed is apparently thirsty work. Oh, research in place of pine forest. I got to do that too. Okay, pine forest. That's gonna take four rocks. Fortunately, we have enough, so that's good. We can get that. So now we'll have a transition tile to pine and then pine. So if we if we want to do that, it's gonna take two two tile unlocks before we can place that next piece, I guess. Aussie Jakes with a super chat. Thank you uh, for the streams of these new games. Well, thank you for the super chat and for coming to hang out. This game is during Steam Next Fest is going to have uh, the, the alpha version of the game is going to be available to play for free for one week. Um, so I think that is uh, June 13th to June 20th. And then uh, there's a demo that I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> Man, the sunset's quick in this game. Dusk and night has become dusk. Uh, that means that night is close. If you're not willing to fight all kinds of dangers in the wild, you should return to your shelter or build one. It's also wise to have a light source and enough logs to fuel it before the night falls. Well, that's certainly probably good advice. And man, the, Yeah, craft a bonfire, set up a light for the bonfire, cook Huckleberry Cobbler. <gasps> Huckleberry Cobbler? I can be like... What's her name? Martha Stewart. I can cook everything. It's getting dark soon. By making a fire, I'll have a light source and I can cook ingredients to make meals. Meals provide me with more nutri nutrients. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be nutrients, then raw ingredients that also can provide useful buffs. I like buffs. Make an outhouse for that dysentery. You know, we really probably should. Timber! I wonder if I could hurt myself with a tree. I kind of want to drop one of myself just to find out. I mean, the fact that it hurts things that it, and, like, breaks them up when it falls on them makes me think that maybe... Oh, there we go. Uh, Rotate tile? Yes, please. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. 
bomb. Uh, anyway, the fact that I can drop the tree and break things makes me think that I can probably drop the tree and break myself. Um, so I probably shouldn't try that, but... If Ashley's here, I'm sure she'll be interested in seeing if we can do it. <laughs> Please be bears! Uh, I don't know if there's bears, but I do know there are zombies. Uh, I don't know if it matters where I put this thing, but I guess we'll do that. Hold the light it with one log. How much shit have I got on me? I only have two logs. And flint! Common resource item. Hard and capable of being flaked into razor-sharp slivers. One could use this to start a fire. Oh, well that's convenient, isn't it? Didn't have flint before, but now I do. Um, I need to find another tree to smackify. Can I pull out the... Oh, there's the map view. Oh, interesting. That's not quite what I was hoping to see from the map. So, it will show me the tile layout, but I can't actually see what resources are left uh, on any given tile. David Lazenby with a 23-month member message. Hmm, Fox, I thought this was a zombie survival, not a baking simulator. Listen, sometimes when you're surviving zombies, one needs to bake. Or get baked. One of the two. Both of which will help you deal with the whole zombie apocalypse thing, you know? Wonder why Ashley is out to get you. What'd you do to her? <laughs> Nothing. I think she just finds it entertaining. Okay. This one we're gonna check for science. I need to know if dropping a tree on myself or on a zombie will result in an injury. Nope. I'm impervious to triage. Sorry, Ashley. I tried. <laughs> baking and 420 baking. Both bring sanity up. I'm sure they do. I wonder if there's a point at which I can I can see what time it is. Oh man, I ran up the tree a second. That was neat. Okay, let's go light a fire. Gravity, why do you fail us? I know, right? I'm sorry. I, I did my best to horribly maim myself. I'm just I'm a failure even at maiming. It's just it's no good. Oh boy. Come on, come on. How many logs do I have in here? I don't know. Oh, I see. It's going to ask for, or last for 118. It's very dark. This, this campfire is not really providing a lot of light. Even when I put the, that's weird. When I put the log on, it's, um... Cook meal? Oh, there we go. Huckleberry cobbler. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I learned how to cook a thing. This, uh, this cooking setup with the three things kind of reminds me of that In Trees game where, uh, you just sort of, like, toss a couple ingredients in the pot and away you go. Let's make a, uh, let's make a couple more of those, I guess. As long as we've got the, uh, got the time of the fire, and then we might as well... Stock up on cobbler. There we go. Boom. Perfect. Search for water. I feel thirsty. There must be some nearby lakes I can get water from. Uh, okay, we'll add that. I don't really want to go out in the dark, though. It did tell me to go home at night. Rather than risk the dark. Uh, so let's maybe rest. Actually, can I start a cartography search? I can. I need rocks. Always with the rocks. Alright, sleep time. It's too dark. Let's make a day. <sighs> We've made it through safely, and my fire's still going? Barely, apparently. Okay. Pine forest. Research in place pine forest. Man, I got like a few things on the go now. Okay, so... I don't have anything I can place just yet. Uh, let's go get some more rocks and then we can research the, the lake. Because I feel like uh, not dying of thirst is probably up there in my things to do. That gave me plus two. Well, that, the cobbler's really good for food, but obviously not very good for the whole thirst thing. <laughs> Two car garage. Rocks, the nemesis. Why are rocks always my nemesis? 
If I'm not all, if I'm not completely out of rocks, it's I'm getting hit by rocks. I don't, I just, I don't understand. Discovered new tile. There we go. Uh, well, hold on. I wanna, I wanna use that new new tile placement to get a lake placed down because we do need something to quench our thirst a bit. I guess I can grab some berries and those will probably help. More rocks, baby. Call me Huckleberry Finn. Well, they only give Thirst Plus 2, so that's not great. But it's cheaper than the uh, the Cobbler, and the Cobbler, I think, gives a similar... Oops. Cobbler, I think, gave a similar amount. Resource, no, backpack. Consumables, there we go. Um, oh, it doesn't actually give you the number. Oh, and this is how we move things around to the hot bar, too. Nope. I would really like to, like, rearrange my hot bar a little bit. But I apparently can't. Okay. Not directly. I guess I could take them off the hot bar and place them back on. Um, what happened to my quest list? <laughs> I, think I made a mistake. Uh, destroy or relocate? Oh, it's because I'm holding this stupid hammer. There we go. Oh no! I did something wrong! I've, I've hidden things and I, I don't know how to unhide them. <laughs> Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! I need an adult! How do I... How do I get my menu back? Oh, there it is. Phew! Where's my quest now, though? There they are. Okay. Phew! Problem solved. Never mind. Everything's fine. Crisis averted. You think you're an adult? I'm not convinced, Rabbit. I am not convinced. Plains to Lake. Okay, so we need uh, need to do a little Plains to Lake action here. Select that tile. I guess we'll stick this one up here. We'll do a little lake up this side of things. I don't know whether I should make it go that way. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. Clunk! Alright, can I just go suck dirty water out of the lake? Is that a thing I can do? I mean, it sounds sanitary, but you never know. Don't worry, we're here for you. Of course, uh, that's to laugh at you. Yeah, yep, that's right. I'm here to laugh, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, he's trying to ruin my life! Uh, wait a minute, is this not a lake I can drink from? How do I drink from this thing? Uh, okay, hold to get water. Oh, yeah, I just watered myself. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that, I got a water skin. It just, like, magically created itself. How? Wait, what? <laughs> so, you can only draw water from each of these points once? Ooh, that's not good. I drained the lake dry. I don't know how I did it. Ooh, this one's got minerals in it of some kind. Give me these. Too weak! Okay, we gotta upgrade. It's good to know. Chop more trees. I would adult, but adulterous actions don't mesh with your lifestyle. Oh, but I'm bump. Might be in hell tomorrow, though. Tum tum tum. This tree is huge. Look at this one. I want to get this one to fall on a rock. It's just hard to aim a little bit. It's not. I'm not convinced it's gonna hit. There we go. Come on, tree. Break my rock. Oh, okay. They won't cross over tile to tile. That's good to know, too, I guess. Oh, tuning's here again already. It was tree with a beehive. Was there? Oh, I gotta go look. I need that. I need the beehive tree. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Look at you being all smirt and stuff. Okay, we found a beehive. Entirely by myself with no assistance. It's amazing, really. Is that me getting stung or something? What's going on here? Getting all twigs. Do I have to chop the tree down to get the beehive? That seems ill-advised, but all right. I'm an equal opportunity destructive. Oh boy! Oh god! <laughs> okay. Bees don't like when you smack the tree, apparently. Ow! Ow! Okay. Come on. How do I get those, I wonder? 
Put a beehive on your head. That seems great, like like a great idea. Do they think they'll calm down eventually? <laughs> All right, this is um, not ideal, I have to say. If I leave the tile and come back, do they settle down? Seems like maybe they do. Oh, wait. No, it's pickleberries. Ah, eat it, bees! We showed them who's boss. Definitely them. Okay, uh, I do not have the pine forest. Oh yeah, I do actually. Let's make a pine forest down here. Bam! The survivors of Corpse Creek. There must be people who survived the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard that there is a camp nearby. To get more information about what happened, I need to see if there are any survivors. So we gotta find the camp. I'm assuming that'll be in the pine area that I dropped them off, maybe. Throw a rock at it, maybe? Uh... I wonder if that's an option. That's not something I considered. Ooh, honey. Wait. Uh... I didn't get any wax. Oh, there it is. I got one one beeswax. That's not that's not ideal. It takes five to do the upgrade. I hope I can make a storage box here at some point soon. So I have the ability to put stuff away. <gasps> I can make clothes. Uh, all right, so we've got uh, 100 of everything, 12 damage. 15 crit, 150%. Uh, all right. What next? Grab my workbench. I gotta find more. I gotta find more bee trees, but I don't really want to mess around with the bee and the uh, the whole nighttime zombie business. There we go. Gather some berries while it's still light. Show boo with the bees, and perhaps it will give you milk. Ah, oh, because then they're boobies, huh? Oh. <laughs> I got that. Maybe gather in the day while they're out? Which, the bees? If it makes smoke around a beehive in real life, it makes the bees docile. Yeah, it does. Let's cook. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What happens if I throw honey in here? Nothing, I got cooked meal. That's disappointing. The cobbler seems to be the way to go. At least for now. We'll figure out how the, the honey plays into things later. Maybe there's a combination we can... Wait a minute. What if it's one berry and two honey? That makes me rather thirsty. <laughs> Let's not do that. Good enough. Excellent work, lady. Um, are there more tiles we can research? Ooh, there is. Lake tile. Plant fibers? Now we need plant fibers instead of rocks. Okay. Oh, and a survivor camp. Let's research that. It's gonna be a little bit before we can place that tile, but we've got it researched at least. <sighs> oh my god, I saw they sell bee spit in the stores now. How do you get so much spit from such tiny bees? You gotta get a lot of bees. You make them really upset at you. And then you catch the spit, see? It's all a very, very strategic tactic, you know? Um, I need some bushes we can chop down here. Come on, lady, you gotta trim that bush. Perfect. I feel thirsty, I can't imagine why. Um, I guess we'll chomp on these for now. Oh, actually, I could chuck that down, I guess. Oh, man, that... That water skin does not, uh, does not really hold a lot. Okay, let's get the camp in here. Oh wait, no, I already did the camp. Uh, it was this I wanted to research. So we'll research the lake tile. Maybe later we can build a boat and go out on the lake, that'd be cool. <laughs> I gotta go refill my water skin. That's just not something a guy should say, I feel. Really? I feel like it is. Huh. You can only drink from these once in total? That's very weird. 
Okay. I wonder how you get a consistent supply of water if you can only drink from the lake. Like, wherever those little squirrels are, like, once. That's concerning. Oop, new towel. Let's throw a camp in here. Uh, I don't want it too close to my base. Let's put it, or my, my house or whatever. We'll put it over here. Thunk. I wonder if they sell things. When does the dying begin? Um, you know, probably soon-ish. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't seen any zombies just yet, but there are apparently zombies. And apparently it's more dangerous at nighttime, so we could try for like going around at night and doing something, but we just have to accept that that's going to be more dangerous. It's already midday. Welcome, people. Welcome. Hold to destroy. I wonder if they'd mind. Sorry, I broke your box. There was nothing in it. Feathers. How dare you make a camp out here? <laughs> Smash it all! I got rocks. You got rocks in there? Tin cans. Oh, canned beans. Nice. I got food now. All right, Sam. I don't want to talk to you just yet. I'm still breaking your things. You just wait there, all right? After I'm done smashing all your good stuff, then we'll be all right. Ooh, a common key. What will that be for? All right, Sam. Hmm. What's your deal? Lost provisions. Me and my brother Greg have been out here for days and can't go home. The fire and a handful of provisions are still at the stand between us and the grave. During our escape from Corpse Creek, we lost most of our provisions in a prairie when our wagon toppled in an attack by, well, let's say one of our own. Please help us get those provisions back. Uh, all right, new tile researchable. Okay. This tent's not looking all that great. Seen better days, I think. This one, too. <laughs> well, they have to get in Greg Brown's bed. Hey, uh, hey, Greg, you, uh, want to let me in your bed, or, uh, what? All right, let's go this way. I gotta get more berries, because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm low on water. Yeah, they're here to take our land. Spots of the lake should eventually be able to get water from again. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes to the cycle. All right, that's fine. We can uh, we can chomp on some berries in the meantime. I need food anyway, so it'll give me both food and hydration. Just doesn't give me like a ton of hydration. That's all. Chomp, chomp, chompy. It's not perfect, but uh, you know it's better than we were, so that's fine. Your birthday's on the 8th. Well, happy early birthday. All right. I was doing something, and I forgot what it was. Uh, oh, the cartography table again. Okay. Oh, look at these transition-y ones. Plains to Prairie. Plains to Prairie. Why are there different ones? Oh, I see. Um, uh, what have I got here on my map right now? I think if I'm gonna do a plains to prairie kind of thing, I'm gonna want like just a quarter tile of it. So let's go this way. Actually, you know what? I have enough to do more than one of these. Let's do a couple of them. As in all three of them. Oh, I don't have enough flint. Shoot. Okay. Well, we got some of it anyway. What are we doing for resources? Consumables. Miscellaneous. A common miscellaneous item. A key to open valuable chests. So I'm gathering we'll find some chests along the way. Oh, wait. I, oh, yeah. I have 15 logs. We're okay. We're okay. How do I unequip items that are on here? I did not mean to eat that. I just ate beans for no reason. Now we're going to have fart power. Great. Discover new tile. Uh, let's go with this tile. We'll stick that up here, maybe. 
Maybe not. Maybe that's not the one I wanted. Um, hold on. Ah, I figures I didn't do the other one. Okay, um... Let's go like this. Whoops. We'll select that tile. Jeez, I don't know. Whatever. Good enough. Clunk. If I put them too far away, we gotta run like forever and a day to reach them, so I guess I guess there's uh, something to be said for that. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get stuff out of my hotbar. Um, where's my hotbar? Ah, I don't want to eat this stuff. Tools and weapons. Building miscellaneous. I thought there was a way I could get it out of my hotbar, but I... I'm stuck here at the moment. I know I saw something pop up before that was like, Oh, you can put it in your hotbar by doing... holding whatever. Oh, tannery, smelter. Ooh, smelter. Craft tin ingot. Okay, so we can make a smelter later. Fletching table. Click consumables. Consumables. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, uh, well, see, there's a thing for adding it to the hotbar, but what if I want to take it off the hotbar? So if I, let's, if I hit six, yeah, there we go, okay. And then eight. That's better. I like that option better. I think I'm also gonna go and take our tools and we'll pull this thing off the hotbar here. Consumables. I wanna move the, oops. There we go. Resources, get that out of there. Okay, we'll make uh, the hammer three, the map four, berries five, that could be six. There, better. I like that setup better. kind of cool. I, I like how the layout is going to be different each time based on how you choose to place your tiles down. So you're not just like, you're not just working from like a singular defined map. There we go. Perfect. Sleep time. She's so tired. Okay, anything new we can craft in here based on all the stuff that I found? Whole lot of nothing. Okay, we gotta find more, uh, more beehives. More beehives so we can upgrade. We can also go searching for provisions. But... <gasps> Ow, what the? I need urgently to drink. Oh, apparently she's thirsty. Wow. Uh, that's a problem. That thirst came upon me rather disproportionately, it seems. Probably do a lake tail next for water spots. Yeah, as long as I can reach it. Like, I don't... I don't think I can go in the water. I might have to make a boat or something. Maybe I need to do another lake transition tile so I can have a secondary point to collect water from. This game's actually in alpha, it's not in beta. I don't think it's slated to come out until next year. Um, so it's it's an alpha state right now. And then from June 13th to June 20th, during uh, Steam Next Fest, it's gonna be available uh, as an open alpha for people to play uh, for that one week. We'll be playing Icarus tomorrow. I will be playing Icarus this week, probably. I don't know the exact day yet. Kind of been flying by the seat of my pants as usual. Oh, there we go, I can get water again. So it seems like every other day we can get water out of there. Which means I definitely will want a second one. Try putting the water bladder on your hotbar and see if you can fill it. 
Well, the water bladder just kind of fills up automatically. I don't have like a separate bladder anywhere. It creates one when I get when I gather water. It's not like it's an item that I have just in my inventory. The water sort of becomes an item as soon as you collect it. Devs has said thirst buildup is uh, too fast currently. Okay, well that yeah that certainly explains a lot. I guess if we're running around a lot, it would make us thirsty. And there's desert areas too, which I'm sure will make us thirsty even faster. Have <laughs> a urinary bladder. <laughs> oh my god, I've got a bladder infection. It's not even just a bladder. Ooh, mushrooms. Get a little uh, little variation in our diet. We can get some shrooms, baby. New tiles ready to discover. Okay, good. Let's uh, let's do another lake transition tile. I'll select this tile. Give it a little ro rotationary business here. Good. Yay, beehive. It's got to be an easier way to get the bees. I don't know what it is, but I'm I'm convinced there's an easier way to do this. <laughs> Shrooms, game's almost 420 friendly. That's right. Listen, I told you. Sometimes you either gotta like. There we go. We get high or whatever. Uh, honey, beeswax. Let's just leave the tree for now. I guess I I really am gonna need more. It looks like we're only gonna get like one. One beehive per tile, maybe, if we're lucky. Eat the fox bees! Well, they damaged me the first time, but this time we were a little bit smarter about it. Yeah, I want, um... Consumable. Let's get that out of my inventory. Oops. Where are the zombies? Uh, we have to discover them, so we're kind of working our way toward town. Uh, where did I need to uncover that next tile? Was it another flint? Greetings and salutations, Cryptic Fox. Hey, Dan B, how you doing? Rocks. Nothing but rocks. Need flint. Plain old rocks aren't gonna do it. We gotta get some flint. Yes, flint. Good job. Sad that we can't test fall damage in this game. No, but I did try testing dropping a tree on my head. It didn't. Uh, it didn't result in any injury, unfortunately. Okay. New tile is available. Uh, I think. Oh no, no, don't do that. Escape. I want to get some desert business going on over here. I, this tile over here, I kind of regret putting it down. I should have just left it in my inventory until I was ready to place the one I wanted to use. Oh look, I'm hitting two things at once. Skill. Oh, well, it was skill. More flint. Nice. Is this another building game? It's a, it's an interesting kind of survival game. There is some building. We built this little house here. Uh, it's not intricate building, and that's not really the core the core piece of the game, but it is something you can do. Uh, prairie. Let's unlock the prairie. Because I think that's where we have to go to find those people's wagon. And then uh, we should be able to drop one of those here too. Prairie. Stick that over here. That doesn't look like a wagon. I think they said they lost their stuff in the prairie, didn't they? Beehive on the other tree? Oh, is it back again? Seems like things respawn about every two days. Which isn't too bad. I'm gonna be like super thirsty when, uh, when morning rolls around again. Oh, you know what? I set another transition point over here, didn't I? I wonder if there's a beehive in that tile. Yeah, no, that's not good. 
Yeah, thirst is definitely going to be a problem. As long as we're up here, we'll see if we can take two water. Yes, we can. No beehives, though, here. That sucks. Where'd you see the beehive? New trial unlock we added to the prairie, probably for the provisions. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Probably correct. Let's go see if we can unlock that one. The new game for Fox of Dying. That's right. I think the most likely thing that's going to kill us is going to be thirst. Just judging by how things have been going so far. Finish writing the final exam for your linear algebra students. Want to give it a try? Man, I haven't done algebra in so long, aside from like my necessities for work, but I do mostly calculus these days. Maybe match a full water tile to increase water availability. Maybe. We could try that. See what happens. Uh, prairie? There's the one. Yeah, lost provisions. It takes four flint. I don't have four flint, apparently. Uh oh, I don't have any flint. Can I light a fire still? Yeah, good. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I was going to be able to or not. Maybe if you complete an entire lake, you'll have unlimited water. Well, we'll see. Find out soon enough, I guess. Uh, some of that. Let's do a little cooking. Okay, so. Mushrooms. Oh, they're good for sanity. Alright. I see. Okay, yeah, so this is just like uh, um, in trees. You can kind of drop in your different your different food ingredients and it alters the statistics you're going to get out of it. Obviously, I'm going to want to go with the one that's going to be a combination of food and water. Because that's kind of our, our shortfall at the moment. Not so much the food part of it, but the water part. That gives us a little bit anyway. There we go. Eddie. Honey makes you thirsty. It does, yeah. Anything sweet will add to your thirst. Hey, hey, Nate, how's it going? Gong. I kind of want to go out in the dark just to see what kind of evil things are out there. Oh, the temperature goes down, too. Freezing. You feel cold. You'll fatigue much faster. That's problematic. All right. We'll go in our little house here, even though you can't see me very well, and we'll sleep. <sighs> He's a good sleeper. <laughs> the book's Paradox of the Grand Hotel is a fun... I'm not into math, just fun to mess with paradoxical problems. Alright. Take your word for it. Oh, okay, I can, I can just keep shoving cobbler in my face even after I'm full, so that's good. I wonder if she'll puke at some point, that'd be fun. Nope, didn't yak. Oh well. Um, I need to find more flint because we gotta gotta get that next uh, that next tile open. Someone else? Someone else? What now? What I do? What that? What did do? Hey Ashley, how's it going? I'm here, you're allowed to die now. I already tried to get myself off, actually. I tried to drop a tree on my head, but it turns out uh, gravity's not really a problem in this particular world. It breaks rocks and will break other plants and stuff around it when you drop the tree, but it won't actually hurt the character. Sorry, I tried hard for you, but it just didn't work. But when we find some zombies, I'm sure we'll find a way to get ourselves killed. <laughs> uh, I already have the prairie place. Okay, let's let's take that, that lake towel and see what happens. But, oh, look, there is more water out there, but we need a boat to reach it. That's going to be a thing we'll have to make, too, I guess. But first, more flint. Sorry, I accidentally sent too soon. Can you move house near the water, i.e. rebuild? Uh, yeah, we probably could. I think with the hammer we can move things around. I don't, I'm not sure how much of a pain it would be. But I think we have the ability to do it. We can also just build another building over there, I guess, and then take the first one apart, but... I 
feels a little, a little bit like work. This one's special somehow. I can't reach it. It's just out of reach. It's teasing me, man. Oh, I can get lake water again. Water slash fishing points, right? Yeah, that's what these are. Water slash fishing points. Okay, so it's not infinite, but we did get a re an easy refill there, so that's alright. Good alpha doesn't try to move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, oh, look, it, it works. It doesn't work. Whatever. Um, all right, we have five flints, so we can go and do a thing. Sorry for being late. Mondays and Tuesdays attend uh, to mod and art stream that I've been watching for a few years. Oh, that's cool. Art's cool. Those are people that have skills I do not have. Okay, so this takes four flint to unlock it, so we'll grab that. So next time we get an option to place a tile, we can go for the lost provisions and uh, find out what kind of evil dangers they've got lurking out there. Um, I need to find more beehives, though, and that's proving to be a problem. We might have to go all the way back down to the, the pine forest, maybe, and see if there's another one down there. Bees! That's right! We've been getting honey and stuff from them, but not enough of the uh, the wax to make the table upgrade. We don't have enough wax to uh, to polish the table, you know? Welcome to the forest. The green forest, the green forest. Crap. There's no hive here. Was there a hive in the camp, like near the camp where those guys were hanging out? Did I miss that? Seems like something I would I might have missed. Can you plant flowers to attract bees? Uh I don't know. There's there's flowers here, but the, the bees just have the hives in the tree, and it's like breaking down the beehive that gets you the wax. So I don't think in the short term that's something you can do. I d I don't know about long term. That brings back memories. Where was that from again? Uh, it was from the Green Forest. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just one of those things that's that's rattling around in my head. You know, remnant memories. I can't find any more beehives, man. Is this a demo? This is uh, this is the alpha of the game. It actually is supposed to come out in something like 2023, I think. That's what it says on Steam. Uh, but uh, they're going to be showing more of this game on, during Steam Next Fest. Uh, ooh, hemp. Yeah, look at you See, I told you guys. There's a point at which you just gotta get high. If you can't get stoned, get high. Cotton plant. Oh. Um, yeah, so uh, Steam Next Fest, they're gonna be showing off some more stuff. Ooh, vanilla flower. That's uh, June 13th, I think. So it's co this coming weekend, I think. It like, starts like next Monday or something. Um, and the game's gonna be available in the alpha as an open alpha to play from the 13th to the 20th. 420, baby! Wild mint? Look at all the stuff we got here. We're getting all kinds of things we can cook with now. I'm guessing with these cotton plants we can make some different clothes or whatever. Stock up on hemp. And cotton too, apparently. Okay. Well that's cool. No beehives in the in the plains though. Or the prairie, I guess it is. Yo, yo, Fox, any chance more V? Uh, yeah, I'll probably place more, uh, place more V Rising. There's just so many games coming out right now, and demos, and all that kind of stuff. It's really hard to keep up with it all. Oh, new tile discovered. So we can put that out here. So we got our new, uh, new desert set up here. Well, not desert, I guess it's, a, it's the, the prairie. But I don't want to be out here at night, because all I've got is this wooden axe as a weapon. I, did I miss the mint? Ah, oh, I did miss the mint. Oh, darn it, I thought I grabbed it. Let's see what new things we have access to making, though. <clears throat> uh, consumables. Tools and weapons, buildings, miscellaneous. 
Alright, well, nothing new we can craft there. Workbench. Nothing new we can craft there either. Hmm, maybe there's just cooking recipes we get access to. We can mix berries with vanilla. We can have vanilla berries. Vanilla berry cobbler or something. I don't have any berries. <laughs> maybe I should get some. Yeah, you put the variety in variety streamer. Well, you know, I like to play a lot of things. <laughs> I, I really should try to pick just a couple of genres to play in, because it would probably help focus my audience a little bit better, but I don't know. There's, every time I turn around, there's just something new and cool I want to try. Not tall, surrounded by short people. I see how it is. Yeah, too many good games to try. It's just, they're, they come out uh, so, so often now. And often, you know, if you look on Steam, whatever, there's often a lot of junk that comes out also, but... Oh, no, I, I did get some of the mint. Let's try mint berries and mushrooms. <laughs> oh, one helps with, uh, helps with fatigue. I guess, the, oh, the mint helps with fatigue. Okay, what about vanilla? Vanilla is for healing. Honey's for getting thirsty. <laughs> Actually, it looks like it boosts the uh, the food value of what you're eating. Oh, what was that? Syrup. Makes you thirsty, but it, it uh, revives you and gives you health. Okay. Looks like the cooked meal is like the generic thing. Like, if you, if you put it in an ingredient it doesn't approve of, it just calls it cooked meal. All right. We'll go with the cobbler for now. Needs more cobbler. Reeds with a 25 month member message. Don't forget to hit that like button to show our favorite fox some support. Well, thanks, Reeds. I appreciate that. And thank you for the 25 months of support as well. That's pretty amazing. Shroom vanilla mint equals? Oh, I ran out of wood in my fire. I think I need to chop down more trees. I'm almost out of logs. And I'm out of logs. <laughs> Alright. Just as nighttime falls. Sorry, you said, uh, what does it make? Uh, shroom vanilla mint? Shroom vanilla mint. Makes a whole lot of nothing. Gives a little bit of everything, though. Let's go to sleep. Make it daytime before my fire runs out. <sighs> you should try Stray. You survive as a stray cat in the city. Released on July 19th. I actually, uh, I've kind of been... Keeping an eye on that one. I don't know if I'm actually going to play it or not, but it uh, it did look interesting. I was undecided yet. Okay. We'll head up towards where this uh, these supplies are. Maybe there's some good stuff we can get out of them. If we find the supplies, maybe we can just keep them and tell them we didn't find them. That might be a good idea. <laughs> Sorry, I tried really hard to find your supplies in the prairie, and they just weren't anywhere. Right, I like the fact they don't see any zombies. <laughs> well, there's, uh, I don't know how many of them they're supposed to be, but they definitely attack, attack the town. It's sort of the intro story to the game. I got provisions, and I can't move. Why can I not move? Oh, there we go. Cart. Ah, uh, this is where I found the provisions of the survivor's loss. Alright, well, good for them. Can I just break this stuff down? Oh, nope. Wild carrot, sweet. Uh, more cotton plant. More wild mint. So they said they were attacked by... And then they were really not specific. So... They must have been attacked by the zombies out here, even though there aren't any that I see. I want to find more of those wild carrots. I don't know, it's cotton. This is the wild carrot here, I think. Nope, that's mint. Darn it. Where was the carrot plant? I only got one of them. Cotton. More hemp. Oops, discovered a new tile. 
Uh, okay, I need a tile that's going to give me access to... Whoops, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, that's going to give me access to some more beehives. So I think I'm going to take another one of these pine forests. And I'll stick it down here. We'll see if that, see if that gave us any more beehives. Because I'm really lacking the, the bee wax. What are the taller plants? Those These here are the vanilla plants. Vanilla flower. Vanilla, vanilla, attacked by one of their own, probably a zombo. Exactly. Exactly. Where the zombies? I don't know. We haven't found them yet. Apparently, they attacked the town. This game's it's a bit of a build-up. So we started off, and we're kind of like gradually revealing the map or assembling the map. I guess is more accurate. Return to Sam Brown. All right, Sam. How do we interact with you? Uh. <laughs> Something's broken here. I've got I've got the provisions, but I can't return to Sam with them. Sam, take the goods, Sam. We have a problem. <laughs> I don't know if I can complete it. Hit him with my axe. Maybe, oh, maybe I've got to, you know what? I probably have to switch to the provisions in my inventory. Uh, consumables, tools and weapons, building miscellaneous. Wait, where are the provisions? Is the carrot the provisions? I don't want to hit the number five because they'll consume it like instantly if that's actually what it is. I did say it was alpha early access. It is, yeah, it is definitely an alpha. <laughs> uh, all right, maybe if we go to sleep at night, it'll let us do it. I don't know, we'll see. Do I need to make it active? I, I don't know, there's... I don't know if there's a way to like... I don't think there's a way to set my quests in here. Yeah, no, I'm just a... I can't, uh, I can't like click on it to activate it. Did I actually pick it up? Yeah, because even then when I was looking at the wagon, it said something to the effect of, like, this is where I found the provisions. There's an open chest in their cart now? Yeah, that, I opened that up when I stole some stuff. I mean, borrowed some stuff from them. Invite Sam into the tent. Oh, Sam! Come see me in your tent! I found a package for you! It's possible maybe they fell on the ground or something, but I don't... See, it just says cart. This is where I found the provisions that the survivors lost. But, like, the provisions aren't on the ground here anywhere. Uh, and it doesn't say what these are. Wild carrot. Look where it goes. This is all my stuff here. I don't see the actual provisions. Tools and weapons. Building. Miscellaneous. Nothing. Oh, handcraft. Oh, hey, I can make rope. That should have locked some stuff, probably, right? Fishing pole! I go, aw. Wait a minute. I just made a rope. There we go. Sweet! Now I can fish! I don't know if I need bait. Oh, what do we got here now? Enhanced pickaxe, antler, rope, and beeswax. We haven't seen creatures yet, so antlers are off the table right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to return the Oh my god, I made two fishing poles. I made three fishing poles. <laughs> how did I do that? Ah, eh, crap. Maybe it's only two. Just look inside yourself. See the Lego tank guy? Borrowed the provisions internally. Listen, I've got them in my prison wallet. You're gonna have to go search for them. No guarantees of remaining quality. That's all I gotta say about that, you know? Yeah, I can't, uh... Maybe I gotta unequip things? Nope, that's just a stick now. Okay. I wonder if I have to, like, save and reload. 
<laughs> Going in dry. That's right, Nate. <laughs> Just jam that in there. Oh, wait. I didn't chop any trees down. We need wood. Otherwise, I can't make a fire tonight. Wood acquired. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. The innuendos. Uh, we prefer to think of it as Inyenda, not Innuendo. That's some serious Inyenda. Oh, my. Two towels ready to be discovered. Alright. Let's go. Doom, doom, doom. If I go, uh. Oh, I don't. I still don't have that other half desert tile or half prairie tile unlocked. I need to get that. Not fond of this lack of stuff. Oh, I need more flint figures. And drop another pine for us, maybe. Donk. Now we got a good supply of trees and everything down there, at least. Uh, consumables. I don't want this in here. Resources. <laughs> I have two fishing poles because I'm stupid. How do I... You know what? Let's just throw one on the ground. I don't need two fishing poles. I don't think the, the tools even have a durability to them, so they just... I pretty much just wasted it. I'd like to say that I'm brilliant, but I can't. I to chop another tree. There's no trees nearby. I cut them all down. That's a problem. Ain't no gas in it. Well, she needs, she's got beans. I mean, she should have access to gas. Just saying. Put one fishing pole on the end of the second pole to get twice the pole. Yeah, we got a double sized fishing pole. Oh my god, it's dark out here. What happens if I search the tree at night? Feathers. Twigs. More twigs. Alright. It's really dark when the, when the sun goes down. Just because it's 1883 and they don't have street lights doesn't mean it should be dark. I mean, come on. Fuel again. More cooking. What the carrot do for me, I wonder. Carrots and mushrooms. I bet you there's like a like a stew or something you can make if you just have like all vegetables. Eh. I'm gonna go with again with the the food for uh, hydration. Oh, zombies, yeah, I haven't found the zombies yet. I told you. I don't know where they are. We could run it. What, should we run in the dark? Uh, actually, if I run in the dark, I'm going to lose stamina quickly. Hold on. We'll make it daytime. <sighs> so, eventually we're going to find the town of uh, Corpse Creek. And I'm expecting there's going to be some corpses walking around there. Because that's kind of the nature of the game. See if this guy will let me give him his stuff yet. Nope, he still won't. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna save and quit. We'll reload and uh, see if that. Oh man, that actually shut the whole thing down. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, this needs to move. Try that again. The, the, the game set in the year 1883, so it's kind of like the Wild West sort of thing.
That's what quitting does? Well, oftentimes when you quit, it goes to the menu of the game and not like completely shutting the game down. Where's the snakes? That's a good question. Erase save file. No, thank you. Continue. Tools like shovels and fishing rods can be used as a weapon, but they have low attack damage. Imagine that. Slapping a zombie or other critter with a with a fishing pole doesn't do a lot of damage? What? You know what? I wonder... Oh, look, it respawned the boxes and stuff. Oh, there we go. That did it. Hmm. Thank heavens, this should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months at least. Hope we can go home to Corpse Creek someday. We own the trading post out there, but I can't imagine what state it's in right now. Um, yep, it's probably not so it's like a good right now. Patching holes, thank you for retrieving those provisions. They're really a lifesaver after what happened to us in the prairie. God, I miss her, but maybe best not to dwell in sadness on events in the past. Anyway, we were able to bring our tents, but uh, they all got ripped up, you see. Do you happen to have any spare fabric for us? If you don't have any fabric, can you find some cotton and make some? Craft the tannery, workbench two. Oh, I've got to get my workbench upgraded or we can't make that. Oof. Okay, so the beehive problem continues, but it looks like stuff all respawned, so maybe the beehives respawn with it. Get our hands on some fancy new beeswax or whatever. Then we're gonna break all our stuff again, it's important. More beans. Yeah, we got everything over here. Scrap parts. All right. New craftable item discovered. Trap. That had rocks in it. Logs. These guys are the laziest. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So like, listen, we escaped from uh, some weird form of zombie apocalypse, but we don't really want to do anything about it. Could you just, like, go fetch things for us or whatever? That'd be great. Like water. Like, yeah, they make their own fabric. Apparently they don't have a tannery and stuff, so I guess they can't. Although, I think they would need, like, a loom or something, not a tannery. Where did we find that first beehive? I think it was in the corner of one of these tiles, but it doesn't look like it's back. Shoot. Need bees! Fishing? Yeah, we can try our hand at fishing too, but um, first I'm going to try and find some more beehive. Beehivey goodness. Oh, uh... Let's rotate. Punk. There's some bees. I found bees. Ow. <laughs> they still sound angry. I don't know why, though. Gotcha, bees. Man, you only got one beeswax from each of those hives, so you gotta chop down five hives in order to find enough. Oh, there's another one. Leave me alone! There's a deer! Oh my god, there's a deer out here! Can I kill the deer? Nope, that's a fast deer. Okay, we're gonna need to make a bow and arrow probably at some point. That's cool. Lots of honey. Axe him a question. If I could throw my axe at him, I would consider it, but I don't know. I don't know that it lets me. <laughs> I don't see an option to throw it. There's another deer. Come back, deer. Wait, if I run you to the end. There's a rabbit, too. Oh, look, there's a death option. I guess that's for just like the attack button. You can't run off. There's no edge to the map. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Why is there so much blood? It's such a small rabbit. Oh, that was gory. Oh, poor bunny. We'll skin and gut it anyway. Look at that. We got hide and raw meat. Oh. 
I, uh, I ruptured a bunny and, uh, now I'm chopping a deer that's choosing not to move. Okay, that was his own fault. He didn't move. It was obscured by the tree, though, to protect the innocent. I got an antler, too, so that means I can make the upgraded axe now. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor little bunny. I think we, like, turned him into, like, instant chili or something. Sand reduces at several... Oh, what was that? I missed something? Oh, I... I never mind, it messed over. Got it. You're restored by drinking water. It can be found at freshwater lakes, wells, or other water sources. So we'll have to get our hands on, uh... On a well at some point, too, hopefully. I imagine we'll get to... We'll get to craft wood eventually. Oop, oh, beehive. Okay, this might be the final beehive we need to be able to upgrade our bench. I think. Yeah. Oh my god. Come on, bees. Gotcha. Okay, bees max acquired. Let's go upgrade. Oh, maybe I should bring some wood too. I have like no wood. Why do you need beehives to make a bench? It's just one of the materials we need to upgrade the bench. I don't really know why. It's just one of the requirements. Where's the zombie bears? Man, we haven't seen... The only wildlife we've seen so far are those uh, couple of deer and the bunny rabbit. So I'm not sure exactly what... Uh, what wildlife options there are in the game. With my luck, there will be bears and I'll wind up getting myself eaten by one of them. I ran up the tree while it was falling. Killed a wabbit, killed a wabbit. We cornered him and then we, we killed him all right. We liquefied the poor bunny. That's one powerful stick axe, let me tell you. You bloody rabbit. All right, we got the stuff we need at least. Where's my house? Oh, there it is. How do you kill wabbits? I, I, <laughs> yeah. With a walk. Uh that's also how you cook them conveniently enough. Running up a tree while it's falling is a Jedi move. Hey, I, I didn't want to tell you, but we are a Jedi. You've caught on to my horrible secret. All right. Cooking! So now we can make meat. We can make we can make a vanilla steak with honey. <laughs> Which just doesn't seem right. Mint steak? It's like a whole feasty type dinner thing. Um, hopefully that meat doesn't go bad. I don't really intend to use it just yet. Okay, uh, upgrade workbench. Just hold R. Workbench upgraded. Craft the tannery. That's on workbench two. There it is. Tannery. We need five twigs and four ropes. So I'm gonna have to go and get some more hemp. An arch. What do you need an arch for? Oh my god, I can get furniture now. And corner roofs. Gabled roofs. So we can make fancy houses. I'm gonna make a twig chair. Our house needs a twig chair. It's feeling a little too Spartan in there, and I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Uh, let's see. Right, consumable seven, nine. Where's that chair? There it is. Rotate. Make her sit in the corner. Can I actually sit on it? <laughs> no, I can't. Ah, oh, it's purely decorative. It's not functional in any way. <laughs> that figures. Did they have pork and beans in 1883? I don't know. They have canned beans, but I don't know if there's pork in it. 
Oh yeah, I need to upgrade my pickaxe too. Uh, how do I do that again? Tools, weapons. No. There we go. Uh, okay, so for the enhanced axe, I need uh, rope. Oh my god, another beeswax. <laughs> Freaking beeswax. Can't sit in alpha, apparently, yeah. More beeswax required. <sighs> you can only sit in the beta. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, so let's go back up to the prairie because we need to find uh, we need to find some more help. Ow! Apparently, I, I'm thirsty. That's the game tells me very aggressively. I should probably refill my water before I go up there. Kind of a neat idea for a game. I was just, I was expecting to run into zombies sooner than this, to be honest. But in terms of like a game premise, it's kind of cool. I wish I could get stuff right at this corner. Why can't I? Oh, I can get lake water. I wonder why that one's sparkly. Let's uh, let's try fishing there. I got a bluegill. And a sturgeon. Ooh, it's a purple fish. What's going on here with that? Uh, got the fish. A common food item, a small freshwater fish. Epic food item, small freshwater fish. That's interesting. Let's uh, let's go ahead and gut it. Oh yeah, that's good. So they both give fish meat. It's just about looks. Seems it's just about the quantity of what you get from it. It's kind of cool. Stock out of the water. So now we have more things we can cook. Food does not seem to be a problem in the game, though. There seems like there's there's quite a bit of food around. Even just eating the berries you can make into cobbler and stuff. It seems to do pretty well for uh, for keeping you fed. It's the water seems to be more of a challenge than uh, more of a challenge than the food is. Sturgeon get like 20 feet long. That's a big sturgeon. Alright guys, I can't fix your tents yet. I gotta go find some some more hemp. Select a tile. Whoops, nope. Oh, so those tiles like the camp and this thing here, those are those are tiles that you only get the option to place once, it looks like. Which makes sense. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's go with one of these tiles here. We'll place this one. Clunk. I'm not sure if that gets the hemp any closer, but... I also need more flint, I think, too. <laughs> like a sturgeon. <laughs> Fishing for the very first time. I'm gonna think of his weird, weird Al Yankovic when I see stuff like that. <laughs> they have teeth like a goblin. What exactly are goblins' teeth like? Do you have first hand experience with this? Have you been bitten by a goblin? Can you be trusted now? Almost Rabbit Dog's birthday. I'm terrible with uh, with remembering dates and stuff. When's Rabbit's birthday again? You got that song running through your head. Yeah, it's not my fault. I didn't say it first. Someone else thought of it before me. Another tile ready. Okay, I don't really want to drop the next tile right away because I have uh, enough flint now we can, we can unlock another, another tile type.
So much parry action. Now I gotta go find one more beehive and then we can upgrade this, uh, upgrade this axe. Maybe we'll try to kill another deer while we're down there. We can get an antler, we can upgrade our pickaxe too while we're at it. The day before yours, that's not helpful, just to Gary. Because <laughs> I don't know your birth date either. <laughs> Tomorrow, June 7th, really? Yeah, see, I'm, uh... I got a good memory, and I'm also super observant, I'd like to point out. I secretly knew it was his birthday, that's, that's right. See the Lego tank guy? I think he's disappointed there aren't enough zombies in the game yet. <laughs> we have, haven't seen a single zombie, the only thing we've seen is like... Deer and people and a rabbit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Suck it up! They're only bees! Okay, I'm dying. I'm getting hurt. That, those, that, those bees really hurt, man. Okay, tool upgrade. Uh, handcrafted. Let's make... Oh, I gotta make a rope first. Um... Oh, look at that. I got fish bones. And fish oil. Alright. How do I make rope? Tannery, smelter. Was the rope something I crafted on the bench? I thought I was able to do it in my inventory. Shoot. On dead grass, that's right. It's very live. Go out at night, you find zombies, lol. Alright, we'll try that. I only have uh, I only have this little wooden axe though, so I, I'm, <laughs> it may result in my in my demise. Just so we're all aware. <laughs> Passed it a lot, which the uh, the beehive. Could have been that many times. Where the heck is the rope? Okay, it's. Not there, it's not there, it's not in miscellaneous. Oh god, there it is. I'm so blind. <laughs> Alright, we got this. All right, so we have the upgraded axe now. Uh, the upgraded pickaxe is going to require antler, rope, and beeswax. Uh, apparently I need more plant fibers, so we can't make that yet. But I do have an upgraded axe. Uh, now I have no idea what to do with the one that I already have. And I just, uh, can I just get rid of it? There we go. Equip, discard, add to quick bar. I guess we'll just discard it. Does it fall on the ground? Oh no, it's actually gone gone. When I discard, it's like gone. So there's no like putting things down. That's good to know. That's right, old age is creeping up on me. <laughs> if, if by creeping you mean uh, like arriving very swiftly, then, then yes. That, that's what's happening. I need twigs and rope. Just need plant fibers. Okay. I get plant fibers. We have another tile available to us, so I guess I should put another... Another forest tile down, maybe? Because I, I need more beehives. So I guess we'll... we'll do that. Can't put it here, because it's... you need the transition pieces. So I don't have to go here. There's a beehive. I saw the beehive! Oh, that was a really delayed sound effect. And we'll try braving this one at night. Although, I don't know what it's going to look like on, on stream. It's going to be kind of dark. So, hopefully you'll be able to see. But if we run into a zombie critter... With any luck, our upgraded axe will take it out. Fox is younger than you. I... Sweet. And only 70? That's good. Uh, we're going to unlock a tile before putting down... 
for putting the tile down. Yeah, but I'm already halfway to the next up, uh, the next tile anyway. Come back here, dear. I'm not done. I'm not done trying to kill you yet. Oh. Okay, there was a tree there, but I also hit the deer once. It's dark now here. Ah, oh, I missed him. Whoa! 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 What? He like appeared instantly. Ow! Hit the thing! <laughs> She's so slow! Oh god, oh god, that hurt a lot, that hurt a lot. Ah, oh, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Why did we come out here? Oh, there's another one. Uh, okay. We found the zombies, just for the record. Jeez! I'm starting the fire. God, now I know we need to go to light at night. <laughs> She's got a super slow swing, so it's, you can't even wind up and hit the thing before it smacks you. That's 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 dangerous stuff right there. I need healing now. So I guess we'll go. Well, that's filling. That's also filling. Where's the healing business? Oh, it's the mushrooms. Mushrooms give the healing. Mushroom soup. Look at that. Oh, there's hydration too. Ooh, mushrooms are good stuff, man. Wait, did that not give me healing? Which one was healing? Maybe it was the vanilla. Oh, it's the vanilla. There we go. Okay, I need, uh... Where'd that cooked meal go? This one here. Eat that sucker. I got me a little bit of health back. Not very much though, actually. Less than I thought it would. More health. Eat. Good. Very good. Uh, I guess I'll make some cobbler too while we're at it. Alright, score. Grilled fish. Good for hunger and health. All right. Look at that, we got variety in our diet now. After almost getting smoked by a zombie. <sighs> it's so dark, like it's uh, it's a little hard to see what's going on, but like see, see how slow our swing is with the ax? So like trying to fight a zombie with that is, is not good. I, I think later on we can actually craft weapons, but that's not something that I have access to yet. Darker than a bear's stomach, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the deer I smacked, I didn't get to kill because that zombie showed up like instantly. <clears throat> it was like an instant spawn. Put fire inside the house so you can see. I wonder if I can burn the house down that way. That'd be interesting. Nope, come back here, deer. I'm not. I'm not done killing you. Now I am. <laughs> nice of you to just stand there. There's another antler. And meat. Good. Good, good, good. Go away, bees. How do you feel thirst uh, by being thirsty? <laughs> it would be my first guess. Ow. These hit hard, man. Okay. Uh, need a rope. Now we can make this. Very good. So we can get rid of the pickaxe we have here now. And put this one there instead, and then this one I'll just throw away. Perfect. As long as I'm down here, we'll check for more beehives. Ooh, gotta get more of these mushrooms. These things are like better than I thought they would be. I'm gonna go lurk and scroll back to the beginning of this video. I missed first hour and a half. Alright, see you, Dagon.
I think we can make the tannery now. I should have enough stuff. Now I can probably harvest rocks by the lake. This is probably true, yeah. And one of them had ore in it, so I, I imagine once we get the ore, that will give us access to making the smelter so that we can start to make some, uh, some iron ingots or whatever. I'll have to figure out what other tiles will give us access to ore also. Uh, I need... Oh, I don't have twigs. That's interesting. Who knew? Okay, that's good. Make a bear trap and crafting. Well, I need to make uh, iron ingots before I can do that. Or whatever metal that is. Uh, Ian with a three-month member message. Cryptic, we the chat demand bears, and lots of them. I can't make bears appear in the game if they're not here already, but I did find zombies. I mean, that's even more dangerous than a bear. Like your voice, very calming. Well, thanks, Jump. It's actually one of the more common comments that I hear. Which is funny, because you never really think of your own voice that way. Uh, so I have four twigs now. Was it, was it four I needed, or was it five? Of course it was five. Why wouldn't ya? Maybe Lakeside Rocks give iron. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because there was that, uh, at the very least, there's, uh, there's one rock there that has uh, iron. Or whatever metal it's supposed to be. I'm assuming it's iron. There were definitely bears in the demo you played a year ago, so ago. Oh, really? Okay. I haven't come across those just yet. That's good to know. Tannery is crafted. Somewhere. Euler. Let's put that in spot six so we can put that down. I guess we'll just stick it like right here. New craftable item fabric. There we go. I wonder how much of the fabric I need to make. I'll just make two of them for now, I guess. Oh look, I can make a tent. Two fabric and four twigs, and I can make a tent. So I guess if I get too far away from my home, maybe, I can craft a tent to sleep for the night? So, that's kind of cool. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? So he changed his name to Ed Usner. Thank you. That's my favorite meme. I don't really have a favorite. I'm not like a super meme guy. I, I laugh at them when I see them, but I don't really have like favorites or anything. And I don't make them. Apparently the tannery makes large bacon. <gasps> large bacon! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I discovered a new tile, so we can put another one down, but there was still that one I wanted to unlock. Uh, this one here. Oh, this one's lo locked still, too. Okay. Score. Um, let's do... I don't know which one to put down right now. I don't even know what I need. I guess we could... Um, where's the plains to pine? This one here, maybe. So we can go like this. Clunk. Get some uh, some more trees a little closer by. Can you go play with the zombies again? For science, of course, please. I need to get like a weapon or something. This axe that I'm using doesn't really seem to be ideal for fighting zombies. I have no idea what happens in this game if you die. We might just respawn back at our house or at our bed, which would be ideal, but it might also just like kill us outright. I, I don't actually know. Okay, we got tin ore, so it's tin there, not iron. Just drinking some more of that delicious, dirty lake water. Mmm. You get to filter the bits out with your teeth. Oh, wait, it's already evening, isn't it? I should probably be a little bit careful about this. Uh, alright, I got your stuff, dude. Hmm. 
My god, finally a night's sleep without rain or wind on my face. Thank you, young savior. Did my brother Sam tell you how we got into this mess? A mother Tara was with us during the escape, but she suddenly started acting all odd and such. Then she jumped at us, crashing the wagon. God almighty, I can't believe what came over her. I'm ashamed to tell you that we grabbed what we could and that we ran away in fear. I hope someone's found her and that she's alright. We keep a lookout for her? Her name is Mrs. Tara Brown. Thanks again for all your help. Oh yeah, I'll keep a lookout for her all right, and I'll put my axe right in her forehead. That's not an ominous toll. <laughs> How's that for timing? Um, I can't use their stuff here, unfortunately, so I can't, like, just cook or sleep here, I don't think. Unless he'll let me sleep here? No. I'm not friends enough with Greg for him to let me steal his bed. <laughs> we gotta go back to our own, I guess. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was great. Alright. Where are the zombies at? I don't see any zombies. I wonder if the zombies are only down in the forest tiles. Or the plain tiles. Like, maybe just the ones that are, like... Or not the plains, the prairies. Like, uh, if it's not... Like, the plain tiles might be safe, but the... Everything else, maybe not so much. Tannery smelter... Oh, look at that, I have a smelter already, even though I don't have a smelter. How's that work? It says hold F to craft, but I don't... I guess I must have to build a smelter in, in range before I can do that. And the smelter's probably in workbench 3. To upgrade, what do I need? Oh, look at that, 2 tin. <laughs> look at that, I just upgraded. Hooray! Oh, there it is, smelter. Uh, let's craft one of those. Oh, not two, not two. Don't get crazy. <gasps> a well! Yes! Need that also. Um... Ah, oh, I'm out of hemp again. We gotta go get more hemp. Alright, we'll just sleep for the night. So if we get some more hemp, we can build a well, and then we'll have a source of water, like, actually right here at my camp, instead of having to run, you know, all over Hell's Half Acres. Uh, let's get that. Get some of this. I must have some other food in here I can consume. Eat some of that. Have some beans. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. Wow, look at the size of this thing. Uh, nope. <laughs> Let's not do that. Seven. No, oh, something's wrong with it. It's not... It's not really letting me move it around the way I can other items. Pretty much just goes, like, right where you... Right where you stick it, and then we can rotate it. Alright. That works, I guess. Hold the light. Requires one coal. Oh, I don't have coal. Oh. That could become a problem. What else can we make in this thing? Anvil requires three tin ingots. Oh, there's the storage chest, finally. Uh, let's make one of those, maybe, a railing. I'm going to focus on making the well. Having a source of water nearby is probably a good option. The Lego tank guy could just couldn't stay away. He's back again. Just stick it and rotate, that's right. <laughs> Suitable for a variety of situations, really. I remember that I was going to leave because of no zombies. Yeah, you were going to leave, yeah. There were zombies, though. You just have to go out at night. I just haven't been going out at night. Because I don't have a way to fight them, really. It does make them a little bit more troublesome, you know? Oh, there's some hemp here. Alright, we're going on a marijuana run. We're just going to run around gathering hemp. What are the tiles we have access to? Any, any new ones have cropped up. I can go thirsty as the Lando Lakes. It's not that many lakes, but it's more like Lando Lake. Because we've only got one.
think I used the vanilla for like healing or something, right? So I should probably make sure I got more of that. Use your intellect to fight the zombies. All they know is brains. Well, listen, the trouble is, all I got, no brains. Stock up on everything. Have you done the provisions retrieval for Sam yet? Yep, we already did that one. So, um, and we did the tent repair for, for them also. So I, I should go back and check the cartography table and see if there's another uh, another option there. They wanted us to keep an eye out for their mother for some reason. They're all like, mother. If you stand still, the zombies won't attack. I don't believe you. I think you're trying to set a trap for me. We might have to test it though. Just to validate. Is that dark green one uh, carried by the wagons? Uh, I don't know. I might have to go look. Yeah, their mother of the zombie. They were trying to make their own movie, Throw Mama from the Wagon. She didn't like it. Dark green one by the wagon. That's wild mint there. Oh, this one here might be. Yeah, yeah. That could be carrot. Wild carrot, yep. So it's the dark green ones. Of which there are really not very many up here. Hmm. All right. Uh, is the dark stone coal? I didn't even notice any dark stone, so I'm gonna go with I don't know. I mean, all I see are these gray stones. Where did you see dark stones? If you're thinking like this one, like being darker, I, I don't know. I think it's just like shading, but whoops. Wrong tool. There's only one more you saw south of the wagon. Clinton rocks. I am curious if we combine the three carrots together, what that'll give us, like a carrot soup or something? Because we got the mushroom soup when we did the, uh... So that one's mint. That's more mint. Yeah, I don't I don't see any more dark green ones here. Carrot to my left. <laughs> There's a striped... Oh, they're right over here, yeah. There's a, straight, a slight stream delay, so sometimes I'm going to miss what you're saying in time. Dark stones are peed on. Oh my god. All right, we have triple carrots. I guess we'll see what that makes. Probably like a carrot soup. If I had to guess. <laughs> You're rather left. <laughs> How long is the delay on this stream? I thought I said it for ultra short. Oh, you know what? It doesn't pay to not discover a tile right away. Because I just realized it's not working towards the discovery of the next tile until I buy the existing tile. So even though I'm like searching, like gathering plants and searching berry bushes and all that kind of stuff, it's actually not, it's not doing anything to build up towards the next one. So maybe not a good idea. Oh, here we go. Lonely cabin. It's a lonely cabin in the woods. Discovery. Oh. I mean that one. A lonely cabin in the woods. There can't possibly be anything wrong or dangerous about that, can there? Oh, there's a dude in there. All right. <laughs> Again with the really delayed uh, impact sound. Workbench. Oh, I need to make. Uh, I need to make a rope. Okay, and then uh, now on the tier three bench, we can make the well. Beauty. Consumables. Get that out of there. Okay. 
I'm gonna put it like over here on the edge of things. Doesn't need to be that close. Hold to drink li hold to get lake water. <laughs> We're still getting lake water out of the well. Even though it's not at the lake. It's fine. Okay, we'll see if uh, cooking three carrots makes carrot soup. Yes, it does, which uh, adds a lot of hunger relief. What if we mix other things into it? Let's see if we can make like a like a stew of some kind. I already did that one. Huh. Carrot soup. It's all hunger related. Um, nope. Nope. I guess we'll just go with the mushroom soup. It seems to be a decent option. It gives both food and hydration. Ah, at least I would if my fireplace was still going. <laughs> Can you use the berries? Yeah, if you put three berries in, you get like a berry cobbler. Huckleberry cobbler. It's, uh, it gives some food back. It also gives a small amount of hydration back. So it's, uh, it does certainly have uses. So if we uh, if you drop three berries in, you get uh, huckleberry cobbler. You put like berry mint in this. Everything again. A lot of them would just say cooked meal, where you're just getting like a combination of the stats from the different things. I'm trying to find like some combinations other than just like three of the same type of thing that might produce something good, but so far not finding any funky combinations. I overcooked the risotto. Oh my god, Gordon's gonna be so mad at me. Okay, let's make a daytime again. She's like, I feel thirsty right after I drank. Use it with the meat. Yeah, I tried a bunch of different <laughs> random combinations there, but I, I'm not sure which ones will work out ultimately. I don't know how much it, it really matters, but... Where's my consumable? Oh wait. Oh, no, no, never mind. It just shows cooking ingredients. Oh! Brown's Miracle Tonic. Common medicine item. The Brown family swears that this tonic cures all kinds of wounds. <laughs> it also apparently hurts your sanity a little bit. Huh. Okay. I got a healing thing now. So if the zombies happen to get me, we got something to help out with the situation. Uh, more cobbler, more water, and a berry. There we go. We're maxed out. Let's go see what the, what the deal is with this cabin down here. What do you mean you feel hungry? You're full. Don't even. Does this refill overnight? Nope. There's another tile I could research, was there? Oh, let's go look. Okay, cartography, uh, cartography table says we can also find planes of forest pine, so I guess I should do that too. It's just another corner segment for the pine trees. Let's go see what the deal is with the cabin down here. It's a wafer thin. Oh, come on, it's only wafer thin. Can I need another bite? Get me a bucket. Tonic made from from 100% snake oil. Well, listen, when you're a snake oil salesman, you gotta you gotta honestly sell snake oil. Otherwise, you'd be dishonest, right? Oh, I'm gonna chop this while we're here because these things are kind of a pain. To Ow! Stupid bees! Who do they think they are? Unintended fire starts wildfire. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, nature. We burn you to the ground. Dude, you don't even have a... No, he doesn't. Wait, he doesn't have a door? I can't tell if there's a door here or not. The roof kind of makes the walls disappear. There's got to be a door. Sorry, I'm going to wreck your stuff first. 
think he'll mind. <laughs> so I'm standing here kicking his junk in. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm stealing from you. You just you be patient. Wait right there, okay? Another common key. New tiles ready to be discovered. Fabric. Stark's bed. He won't let me in his bed either. Hmm. A nerf. Very special favor. Hello there. Very pleased to meet you. I'm Stark and this is my home. Woods were such a nice, safe place before the lost souls began roaming around here. Such a shame. Luckily for me, I don't live in Corpse Creek. I've heard dreadful things about that night. So worried about some of the folks there, though. Say, could you do me a favor? I'll explain a little later. Find the skull of a dead animal at a glade. Uh, okay. New researchable. Okay. I guess we'll go... Oh, let me out the door. It's kind of weird that the... It'd be nice if it kept, like, some image of where the walls are. Even if it was just, like, a phantom image so you can see where you're going. Necro time! <laughs> nice. New mission! Transport two barrels off the porch to a neighbor's for a large reward. Oops. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, we already broke them. Listen, he didn't object to me stealing his stuff, so therefore it wasn't stealing. It was just unobtrusively borrowing without asking and no intent to return. It's not the same thing. Um, red flag, never look for a skull if you don't know the st full story. <laughs> Turns out it's a person's skull. More bees! Do I have wood on me? Only four. I should probably chop a tree down too. Oh, another weird audio delay. <laughs> it's dark. The night is dark and full of zombies. It's not even dark yet. This is just like... This is like twilight. And not the movie, you know? It's just... It's like that time of day. That's how you choose a quality made for life. Can you steal from them? <laughs> if that's how you're choosing your partners, I'm concerned. Just saying. Okay, so he sent us back to research another thing on the cartography table. That's the Glade, which we do have enough for. Sweet. And I even have a tile to get placed, so we can do it like right away. Uh, this clearly needs to be a forest one, so let's stick it over here. Oh, look at that. It's got a god raise. Uh, I want to make this box. For reasons. I don't know which ones, but for reasons. Uh, and I, I guess we'll put it inside. Uh, building. Set that as number six. Yeah, not a lot of room in here, but I guess we can like try to like stick it here or something. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> at least it would be if I could interact with it. <laughs> Dang it! Why? Why? Why do I do these things? Okay, I'm gonna have to move that. Oh, that, that was, that was less than special. Uh, uh yeah, I'll remove storage chest. Well, I just ripped the floor out. Sorry. There we go. I wonder if it, hopefully it didn't hurt the walls any. I can't, I can't tell if there's walls there still. <laughs> nope, I was able to run right through, there is no wall. Great. Maybe it only moved the one wall. <laughs> okay. I think I think it's fine. I think we fixed it. Good grief. Might as well sleep in a tent. Maybe. 
update. How do I interact with this thing? <laughs> I got a storage chest and I can't even interact with it. That's weird. I guess it's just a decorative. I, I thought it would actually be a functional storage box. I completely wasted my materials on this thing. I'm less than impressed by that. It removed the other window wall, too. I don't see them in my inventory, though. Yes, I do. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. We got it. It's fixed. It See, it looks like I should be able to interact with it, so maybe... F? Hold F? Nope. Oh. Hmm. I do not know how to open it. Stop trying to touch your chest. Hey, listen. It's my chest. I'll do what I want to. Consumables. Hmm. So we're gonna eat this. All right, let's go see what the deal is at this glade over here. Still can't refill my water. I guess we gotta go to the lake first. That's right, IQ's too low to be using the chest. Maybe it has to be outside? That's possible too, I guess. Oh, it did say hold to open for a second there. Is it just me or did it, did it, there was a tooltip that popped up that said hold to open for a second? Oh, I'm getting spanked by a door. Oh yeah, I like it, naughty door. I like it. <laughs> Alright, I'm weird. I know. Okay. Let's try putting it outside. We'll see if it makes a difference. Maybe it does have to be an outdoor chest. Yep. Weird. Okay, I mean, it's not a big deal. Oops. Uh, I can go in there, put our stones in here. I've got these feathers that I've been collecting gradually and have no use for. Transfer a stack. Let's just do them stacks at a time. Let's take it all in there. Take the wood back. And a flint. Okay, good. Good, good. Oh, I need to put the honey in there, too. I have absolutely no need for honey right now. <laughs> um, so you're into objects. Nice to know. Uh, thought this. It is a family-friendly stream. That door was perfectly family-friendly. Family-friendliest door you've ever seen. Um... I'm not using the mint right now. I guess the fish can go in here. Mushroom... Stick it all in here. We'll keep the beans. Anything that's not cooked, I guess there's no point carrying around with me. I also don't know what to do with the fish oil and stuff yet, so maybe we'll... Although those aren't really taking up an inventory spot, so that's fine. We'll leave those in the miscellaneous. Let's go find this glade and see what the deal is with that. Oh, good water. Thank you. Is honey equal to health? Uh, honey equals thirst so far that I've noticed. The vanilla definitely gives you health. I, I think the honey just helps with hunger and possibly sanity, but it also makes you thirsty. Fatigue minus four. Okay. Dead animal skull. That is creepy. Skull of a dead animal. I should return this to Stark. But what else are you going to do with it? I mean, I guess you could put it on your, like, your little cabin as a decorative thing or something. Oh, I can pick up other bones here, too. New craftable bone axe. Bone saws ready. Oh, there's another beehive. <laughs> We'll just piss off all the bees at once. Ow! <laughs> Can I chop these things? No. That's a really big rib cage. Like, what kind of animal was that?
I would have thought it was supposed to be just like a, a cow or something, but... New tile discovered. Okay, we need to do that right away, because if I don't... It's, uh... Hmm. How do I... Can't move around here. I can't even rotate when I'm in that view. That's weird. Discover new tile. I, I don't even know what tile I should put down, because I can't see the whole map right now. Probably an elephant. <laughs> It'd be a little weird place for an elephant in 1883 in the Wild West. <laughs> Escape from the circus, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. It's definitely an elephino. A buffalo? Maybe. It's kind of a giant sized one, though. It's got all the beefaloes going. Oh, look, another thing where the quest isn't going to work. Ah, okay. It is an alpha still. It is an alpha. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have to log out and come back in. Settlers of Catan feel? I'm, you know, I've never played Settlers of Catan. I even worked in a game store for a long time, and I didn't... Uh... Oh. Yeah, look. So you can return to menu or you can save and quit. I wonder if I return to menu if it will save it. I'm, con I'm concerned. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't set me back, or I'm going to be upset. <laughs> Start continue? Still, uh... Yeah, so you, I did collect the head. It just it still left it there as the image. Death Road to Kent. Ah, crap. <sighs> what have I got? I mean, I've got some stuff. What's on the map? We don't have the cabin yet. Oh, yeah, we do. Actually, there's the glade right there. Okay, so... It saved it before the well, but after the glade is down. That's weird. Let's say return to Stark, so you should have it. Yeah, but where'd my... Where'd my well go? <laughs> I think... I think there might be a minor glitch there. My well just just vanished. What does it take to make a well? Uh, like stone, rope, and some other stuff. Yeah, those bees really hurt. Yeah, most of my stuff is there. It just uh, it looks like it just despawned with the well. I even have some bones. Although it only has one bone there, even though I thought I picked up multiples. All it does is lower sanity. That's weird. Bones from a poor critter. Common ingredient item. Alright, well, whatever. Oh, God! What are you doing out here? It's not even nighttime! Ah, it's the old lady! Oh, smacked you one, you lady, in the face. Ah! And for 25. Ah! My windup is so slow. Yeah! Eat it, lady! Okay, they come out during the day eventually. Uh. Right. Huh. That's unfortunate. What do you mean, good zombie? Don't good zombie me. I think try to eat my face. Like, can I eat it right off or something? Do you know how attached I am to my face? Uh. I don't even know if there's any point in adding more water yet. I don't have a boat. Um. I guess maybe, uh, I should probably. Instead, add more forest tile. Because it seems to be the forest is going to be where I'm going to get... Oops. <sighs> yep, that, that worked great. Forest is where I'm going to... Ah! Oh, is it where I'm going to get the most utility. Oh my god. I'm incompetent? There we go. Got it. Finally! <laughs> she needed a hug. You didn't pick them up. You didn't pick what up? It says return to Stark. 
Clearly I have the items. People thought the same thing when they thought I didn't pick up the stuff from the uh, cart. But we did. Where are the snakes? I don't know where the above snakes term comes from, even. I don't know how they named it. That's a good question. I mean, there's clearly zombies. No snakes that I've seen yet. Those mushrooms are good eats. Yeah, see, there you go. We can turn the quest in now. Oh, and now I can see the door. Huh. Hmm. You found one! Great job! Excuse me for a second, I gotta make something special out of this. Please, have this axe as a small thank you. Oh, what kind of axe are you giving me? Special gift. I've created hmm. something very special out of that animal skull, but see here, it's private, and I don't want just anyone to know what it is. I don't know, maybe later I'll show you. If I know I can trust you. You know, maybe you could earn that trust? I put what I've made into this parcel. It needs to be delivered to Corpse Creek. <laughs> this guy sounds completely trustworthy. Absolutely weird, stranger. Research tile available. Ooh, the Corpse Creek trial. While we're here, let's re let's re rob him since we already robbed him once and that went so well. More scrap parts. A common key. All right, we got to rob him a second time. It's nice. Yeah, we totally trust that cabin in the woods. No, that guy wouldn't be doing anything weird. I mean, what are you guys thinking? Come on. <clears throat> Obviously, he's purely on the up and up. Okay, I'm gonna go research that thing before we uh, before we drop a tile. Why would I go to a place called Corpse Creek? I mean, seriously. Why, what do you mean, why did I kill the zombie? Because the zombie was trying to eat me. Seemed like a good enough reason. I want my well back. <laughs> I need, like, everything. Uh, twigs, rope. Did I have twigs in here? Twigs, rope, stone. Craft rope. I think it was only one rope we needed, right? Yeah, craft it. Okay, now give me my stupid well back. That's better. Okay, we gotta go discover the new tile types in here. Just this one, I guess. Trading post. I need more flint. Uh, did I leave flint in here? I don't think I, I don't think I did. Did I? I did. What is even going on here? Transfer stack. There. God. Stuff was acting weird. Um, Huckleberry Cobbler. I need to eat that. Have a gulp of water while we're at it. Now we can unlock this thing. Let's see, trading posts. Put it there. <laughs> Look how close they were to the trading post. They almost made it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, we can actually put it close by, and then I don't have to like, I don't have to run as far. But I'm gonna have to put an intervening tile if I want to make a shortcut there. Need a bigger cabin. I mean, I guess, but I mean, we're not really putting things in here. All we have is the bed and the and the table. At some point, I'm sure a bigger one would make sense. I don't know when that some point is though. Yeah, the bots have been something else lately. I, I really wish YouTube would do something about it. There, surely there must be a way they can manage that. They should probably chop wood, make sure we got enough for campfire-y stuff. 
Check my tools. Ooh, the bone axe. Uh, yeah, we should totally make that. Take three bones, I didn't even have enough. Um, what I don't have is, oh, I need plant fibers. I'm sure, actually I have some. I'll grab them anyway, though. Make a rope. <clears throat> make a bone axe. Bone axe is ready. So that one does damage 13 versus the one I have, which does damage 15. It actually does less damage. <laughs> All right. We already got the upgraded one that's better. At least now we know. Some of can also make an axe. That's good to know. All right. This card. Ooh, look at this. Some, you get, we got a lumberjack axe, too. That's the axe the guy gave us. Uh, we'll set that as a one. And this one we can discard. Maybe I'll just put it in a chest. I don't know if it has a use for it later. Put that in there. Look at this thing. It's a, a bit of a meaner looking axe. Oh yeah, that looks like an actual weapon. Cleave some zombie skulls with this sucker. Maybe it swings faster? Nope. It seems to be about the slow pace, but it, it, does, uh, it does do more damage. Or do you mean that maybe the bone axe swings faster? I probably should have checked the swing on it, maybe. <laughs> oh well. It's gone now, I already discarded it. Okay, zombies. All right, uh, nightfall again. Uh, what have we got in here that we can cook up that's gonna do something for my wonderful tum tum? Um, resources, consumables. Was it the vanilla that gave us healing? Because I, I did get hurt by those bees a little bit. I probably should try to try to deal with that. Yeah, there we go. Cook that up. Make a couple of them. In the meantime, we can also make some mushroom soup, which will help with both uh, food and hydration. And then, I don't know, we'll just do like a meal. Well, actually, that's kind of terrible. There, good enough. Bench. Oh, upgrade workbench. Coming soon. Okay, so this demo doesn't go past workbench tier 3, so we can't even see what's in tier 4, unfortunately. You're back. Got cheeseburger and onion rings. Oh, now I'm jealous. I want cheeseburger and onion rings. <sighs> Actually, I don't even remember if I ate dinner. <laughs> huh. Probably something I should know. Uh, let's go with, uh, one of these tiles. We'll give that a little... Oh, no, wait, I can't. Can't be that one. It's gotta be the triangular one. This one here. There we go. Now we got a shortcut to get to the outpost thing I dropped in there. That. We've got all these meals. It's uh like this. That does hunger and health. That does health. Oh. Oh, my health actually recovered after sleeping. Uh maybe I'll alright, I'll carry it around with me, I guess. Can I get more water? No water yet. Fasting's good for you? It is actually, yeah. I'm just terrible at it. <laughs> I have this nasty habit of eating. Oh, look, it's actually got, like, I don't know, there's supposed to be, like, hydro wires or something, but I didn't think they had hydro back then. Electricity. 
This is weird. Hello? Trading outpost people? I can't see, so I can't tell if there's a door here or not. I guess I could rotate it. <laughs> oh! Uh, place the parcel. Put Stark's parcel here so it gets picked up and transported to Corpse Creek. Let's see what the re uh, recipient address on the parcel reads. Corpse Creek Forge. Interesting. It'd be more interesting if I could open it up and find out what was in it, but... I wonder if I'm going to have to do anything, uh, anything more for that guy. Yeah, it could be for Telegram, but it's just weird that it's got like a single line and then it splits into threes. Whatever. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, I gotta go back to Stark. Great. Hope all is well, Fox. Love the work you do. Well, thanks, JD McCoy. Appreciate it. Things are good, you know. Same old, same old. Back from holidays. Back in the swing of work and everything. My first time watching your videos. Keep it up, man. Best of luck. Uh, thanks, Nemo. I can't really entirely read your name because it's got characters that I don't recognize, but it looks like Nemo. Thanks for the comment. I appreciate it. Not sure historical accuracy is priority in Alpha. Well, probably not in the game in general. I mean, it is a... At the end of the day, there are zombies here, right? That's, that's not really all that historically accurate anyway. Oh, look, the tiles are all messed up up here. Uh, I need another tile to close. Oh, I can't have like a mix of. No, oh, I created a spot. I actually can't put a tile down. I think because I I have to have transitions from one one type to another. I might get stuck with a spot there that I can't actually put a tile into. Oh, good, it's not broken. All right, Starky Poo. Hmm. Did you bring the parcel to the training post? Remember, I'll f oh, this is the current. Oh, this is the end of the current content. Thank you for playing. But don't worry, we update the game regularly. Make sure to uh, not to miss out and be part of our community. Don't forget the wish list. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the thing that just happened. Okay. So uh, this uh, this obviously was just the demo. It's, it's still an alpha build. Um, I think they're supposed to be showing some more inform some more stuff during. Um, Steam Next, which uh, starts next week, I think. Uh, and Game Fest starts this weekend as well. Uh, I had the opportunity to, to see an, an early trailer for uh, for Nightingale that they're going to be releasing this coming uh, Friday, I think. Uh, and that game's looking awesome. Uh, there's a few more games that I've already heard a little bit about that are being announced or uh, getting more detail or whatever in uh, um, Game Fest as well. So, yeah, Game Fest is basically like E3, but without E3. It's going to be like all game stuff. It starts this weekend. Uh, it's all being, a bunch of it's being streamed. And you've got all your announcements from uh, from all the big players in the industry, as well as some other smaller games that you might have heard about, but might get a chance to see more details from. So, uh, I'll be checking stuff like that out this coming weekend as well. And hopefully there's some good details in there. But uh, this again, of course, is Above Snakes. The demo, or the alpha version of it, is going to be an open alpha from June 13th until June 20th. If you want to play it yourself, you can get it on Steam. And, uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Crativo for pointing this one out to me. I, I had seen Dre play this, I think, like four months ago, and I wanted to play it myself. So, good times. Maybe finish the stream out with Super Auto Pets. <laughs> Super Auto Pets? You want? All right, we can play a little bit of Super Auto Pets. It might be a little bit weird for anybody who, like, clicks over and is like... Uh, what is this? This doesn't look like the game that you said it was. All right, Sam and quit. Super auto pets it is. Uh, I'll have to set up my thing here to capture the other game type because it's not set for the right one right now. For anyone who's not gonna hang around for super auto pets, thanks for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Welcome to super auto pets, the game where I get killed by other people's Super auto pets. <laughs> Sandrock. I've only got like th like twenty minutes or something left before I normally end my stream, so uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into another game that's gonna require me to like consume a whole bunch of time. Uh, but super auto pets is something we can just sort of burn through. It's gonna be the wavy organisms. <laughs> 
Super Auto Zombie Pets? Yeah, that's what it is. The first time you see the pill, freeze it, okay? Just because? Don't leave a paw. I can't apologize to that zombie. I already killed it. It's dead. It ain't hearing nothing. Uh, hmm. Let's go this way. We'll put the ant back here. Show me something cool with the pill. Okay. I know you can do things like you can pop the ant with the pill, for example, and get the buff to flip over to like your other critters, but. <laughs> Super Autobots. Yep, no clue what the game is. So this game, basically, you're building a team of animals from the choices that it gives you, and then it does auto-battling against other people's teams of animals, and each animal has its own, like, power and health and own abilities and that kind of stuff. It's it's a free game on Steam, although there, there is some DLC content you can buy for it, and it is stupidly addictive. <laughs> like, just off the wall ridiculously addictive. All right, we'll freeze the pill, because the rabbit wants me to freeze it. No other reason other than Rabbit wanting me to. Uh, boost our fish. I mean, we could boost the beaver up to level 2 and then buy one of these things, I guess. Eh. I'm not really interested in these guys. Ah, I'm not really interested in those ones either. Beaver! Alright, we're gonna go with the big brown beaver build. That's right, you heard me. <laughs> Freeze that. Go with the fishy. Pop. Try the pill on the turtle. Uh, oh, and then you get the... Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. And then you get the... As long as your turtle's level 2 or whatever, you get that permanent... Uh, the permanent buff on two of your critters. You can also just find the watermelon, though, and, and put that on a critter. This game looks too complicated. It's really not complicated at all. <laughs> it's very simple. And yet I still managed to lose at it. The strategies can be deep, even though the game itself is simple. Um, I'm going to sell some duck and buy some flamingo. Get more beaver. Give, give, give the big brown beaver beat down. Uh, I do like the peacock. I'm going to freeze that. Let's see what else comes up. Hmm. Um, God, I don't even know. <clears throat> we'll just keep flipping, see what we find. Oh, there's a beaver. More beaver! Get up with more beaver all the time. <laughs> even though one tour is worth it, you get watermelons way before it's available from the store. Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Watching the graph of viewership is funny. So, uh, right up until the point where we stopped playing the new game, we were at like 534 people, and then as soon as I switched over to Super uh, Super Auto Pets, <laughs> it dropped by like 60 people. <laughs> this is not a high popularity game, uh, even though it's uh, it's strangely fun. Um, more beaver. I'm gonna get a level three beaver. It's gonna be the big bad beaver beatdown. Um, cupcake. I yeah, like nothing here. I guess I could sell the fish and go with the peacock. That might be a better choice, but blowfish. It's blowfishy. I don't have any way to boost up the peacock really too much. Turtle. Why am I still freezing the peacock? I don't even know why I'm holding that thing. I like kangaroo, too. Oh, that's what we need right there. Let's freeze that. Maybe we'll freeze the peacock, too. Insert credit card. Upgrade your pets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm changing the settings. The auto fight speed uh, and an auto name picker. The names are much funnier when you find out there or after the computer picks them. Oh, yeah. I mean, some of the name choices are funny to begin with, but... Look at that. That's a beefy beaver right there, baby. I have too many things frozen. This is silly. Um, I want the turtle, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it for a sec because I don't know. I don't even know what I want the turtle's thing to be on. 
Oh, you know what? It would have been great on the... No, it actually wouldn't have helped on the... On the Peacock. Because it stops the damage. Beaver! Alright, we have a level 3 beaver. Oh, now we got a dolphin. Um, let's fly... We'll swap this out. Spin. Freeze fish. That was an impressive beaver. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a very impressive beaver. 8-7 beaver. <laughs> it gets bigger when, you, when it plays with an ant, though. Which, uh, again... Just a little bit on the weird side, maybe. I should probably move the flamingo back. Try to get, try to maximize our our, our beaver beefiness. Okay. Number two, flamingo. Uh. Actually, what I'm gonna keep. I think I might get rid of the ant in favor of the turtle. <laughs> Look, it's like telling me, put a fish over here, dang it. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell the ant. Take the turtle up here. Move it up to the front, maybe. Like that. No, that's silly. Yeah, like that. Or is it? I don't even know anymore. All right, we'll go this way. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh. What about... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's hold the scorpion. I'll get the... We'll get the thing on the scorpion, and the scorpion will have the ability to kill two critters right off the bat. Oh, I also want hippo. You were a beaver believer? <laughs> Most powerful beaver in the universe. This is a level three beaver, baby. It's got all kinds of beaver beefy goodness. Better believe in that beaver. Okay, he's he's silver. He's over. He's outmatched. Sorry, beaver. I let him down. We might have to get rid of the beaver in favor of something else. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna boost the fish. But I don't really want to keep the fish. It is 5-4, but I'm going to get rid of the fish in favor of the scorpion. And then we'll pill the tr- oh wait, that will take away the scorpion's thing, won't it? Ah, crap. Alright, that's no good. But we can still pill this way and we'll give that to the dolphin. I should have given it to the hippo, actually. That would have been a better option. Oh, why do I think of these things after the time, fact all the time? More dolphin goodness. Freeze of garlic. Alright. I totally messed it up. Yeah, I should have gave it to the, uh, to the hippo. I was uh, acting before thinking. Well, busy thinking about the stupid scorpion. Although the scorpions are cool, uh, I wish I could put new, I wish we could put something else on the scorpion in addition to the uh, killer thing, but that would probably make it overpowered. And still the beaver won. Big bad beaver beat down. Ooh, we can double gator now. I think I'm gonna get rid of the beaver in favor of the gator goodness. Uh, this is also in the wrong spot. What am I doing? It didn't maximize its buff. Go that way. Uh, sell the beaver. That'll give every or two random friends will get three extra health, so that's all right. A little bit. Get some alligator goodness. Ah, oh, I forgot to do the canned food first. Oh my god, I suck at this game. Don't even know why I play. <laughs> All right. Did the dolphin just eat the turtle? Yeah, there's a you can feed the the a critter a pill and it basically kills it, and then whatever ability it has, it will trigger, and that becomes a permanent ability on whatever the recipient is. Where normally, uh, oh, ah, oh, oh, that hurts. 
normally they're like temporary abilities. I screwed that up a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. I really should have put the watermelon thing on the, uh, or the, whatever it was. On the hippo, hippo, hippopotamus. Let's go with the, uh, peculiar ponies. Play because for some reason the game is stupid fun. It really is. It's so strangely addictive, and I don't know why exactly. <laughs> it's, it's unreasonable how uh, how addictive I find it. It was slightly painful to see the learning curve Cryptic went through in his first few games. Yeah, I uh, I mean I had no idea what I was doing. Fever. Hmm, let's make it a bigger beaver. And I'll freeze these two since they've got the boosted health also. Beaver! <laughs> that's why you play- oh, I see. You play it for the beaver, that's what it is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the only way I can consistently get some beaver. Playing games like this. Admits I have no more hats or backgrounds to buy, so yes, addictive. Uh, <laughs> do you? <laughs> no, Pig Fox Mosquito will take that out. I only bought it just so I could later use the, uh, I could sell it to get the extra gold. Um, but it would just give me, like, a little bit of punch now. Turtle. Piggy. Or, yeah, furry fish. Got double mosquito. <laughs> we can go, we can go level two pig and get two gold off it. What does the freezing do? It um, it stops them from being shuffled uh, when you move when you end your turn. So if you don't freeze it when it when your turn comes back again, the items will change and so will the critters. But you can freeze them to carry them over from one round to the next. So that you can sort of hold on to the stuff that you might want to see later. See how they stayed, but the rest of the things kind of changed. Uh, so we can go level 2 beaver now. Sheepy goodness. Uh, we can stack up and make a level 2 pig. That gets me access to the camel. So I'll have level 2 fish, level 2 mosquito. Spending three gold to get two gold. Yeah, but I'm spending three gold in one turn, in, uh, over a couple turns, to have two gold available on another turn when it's worth more to me. So, uh, so I have to buy a critter anyway, so it gives me something that has a little bit more power, even though they're they're really weak to like uh, to mosquito or whatever. But it gives me um, gives me the power early on. And then when I sell it, I'll get two gold now or whenever I use it to actually boost what I want. I wonder if I should uh, change over the deer. Pig's big, but let's sell that. I'm gonna buy the deer. And then we'll use fish to boost stuff up a little bit. Yeah, we can use the whale to swallow the deer. Six six beaver, huh? I got whooped. Oh yeah, it happens a lot in this game. <laughs> Ugh, junk. See what happens. the stuff of the summon build well what i found out like i don't know it, i don't know if there's any any one build that's like automatically great not from what i've seen anyway two button hooray <laughs> Okay. Ooh, we can go elephant, boost off that. If I get rid of the mosquito. 
Keep his level two. Let me freeze this for a second. See what happens. Turtle! Pill! Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh but if the camel doesn't take damage, then it won't actually do its benefit, so that's not helpful. I think I'm going to sell the fish. Like so. Ooh, more camels. So that'll give uh, plus four plus four to the thing behind it. That's all right. What happened to the zombie game? Uh, we ran up to the end of the, the content. So it's um, it's only an early access game right now. And so we played until about 15 minutes ago. And then we got to the end of the content that's available in the game right now. So people asked to play Super Auto Pets. So we're just playing out a few minutes of Super Auto Pets. We only got maybe like five minutes of this. And then and then, uh, then I'll be calling it a night. Just rounding out with a little bit of, uh, a little bit of levity. The, uh, the stream VOD will be up on the channel, though, after the stream ends, so if you want to watch, you can always go back and check that out after. Can I teach you how to make water? Uh, no. <laughs> the context is helpful. Uh, I don't really want to teach you to go to the bathroom. That's, uh, that's not very appropriate. Five, six for that, or four, six for that. Let's get, let's take the dolphin. I know this, the mosquito's level two, but the dolphin's already better. Also gonna slap some honey on this thing. Its power level is terrible though. That's gonna be the primary problem there. If anything big gets back that far, and I'm pretty much already toast. Bison, but I don't have a level three. Mosquito became a monster. Yeah, it was getting boosted by the camel. Uh, if I can upgrade the elephant so that it gets two shots off at the beginning, then it'll it'll make the uh, make stuff even bigger, even faster, which is nice. Monster dolphin. <laughs> he keeps throwing out these tiny things in front of me. It's just making my stuff bigger. Oh my god! How many critters are you gonna have? Inbreed with a super chat. Here's the cash to feed your addiction for pack one and two. Oh, Inbreed, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Darn it. <laughs> now I'm going to wind up going to buy the packs. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't stooped low enough to get those just yet. I guess now we're going to. Uh, pear. I should probably make the elephant bigger. This is a tiny little elephant. He's a little guy. We got money for more now. Ruh row. How to make water and what the Lego tank? You, you 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 didn't say what game you're playing. Oh my god, I'm getting obliterated here. <laughs> oh yeah, worked out a draw. <laughs> I thought I was dead there for sure. Ooh, Rhino's nice. I like Rhino. Ooh, boosted Rhino would be good. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to go with the whole whale situation, but it's like it's kind of working out for me, all right. Although, oh, I should have put the uh, I should have put the honey on the deer so we get the double items right away. Mind you, if I run into a hippopotamus, I'll just be like. Powering the thing up like crazy. I think I'm gonna switch the dolphin for the rhino. When it knocks an enemy out, it does damage to the enemies behind it, and it can like wipe out a whole team if you get lucky. Let's do that. Try to keep it alive a little longer. Yay, elephant. Oh, and rhino. Uh let's boost the elephant though. 
That's the one I gotta get up there. <clears throat> Where'd the zombies go? We ran out of the alpha content. Um, so we're just playing a couple minutes of Super Auto Pets to round out the stream. Um, but we played, uh, I don't know, for two and three quarter hours or so on uh, Above Snakes. Pretty fun little game. I like the, uh, the novel concepts and stuff in it. That did not work at all. <laughs> yeah, that was a hot mess. There's the hippo I like so much. Uh, okay, if we go this, it'll boost the camel better, and then we can go rhino back here. Try to keep our elephant alive a little longer. I had to take a picture of a rainbow and ran away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. Look at that, they killed the... No, they killed the whale like right off the bat. That sucked. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> that hippopotamus is gonna be a monster. <laughs> Stupid hippo. Ah, so dead. All right, one more game and then I'm done. Oh, God, that sucks. <laughs> Terrible starting team, but whatever. Let's be the, uh, the backwards tugboats. Why not? Love how you've already played 20 minutes of Super Auto Pets, though, only saying a couple minutes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Told you, this game is addictive. Oh, stupid pig. Pig on me. Um, let's go like this. Gonna boost a big ant up here this time. One more, one more game, that's what I always say, and then it's three hours later. Yeah, it's really, uh... <laughs> yeah. There's been a couple late nights, let's just say. Nah, yeah, it didn't matter. Didn't have the pig at the back, it was too weak. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's go like this. To boost those. I'm gonna buy the flamingo. Hmm. This would go like that. I don't know. Freeze the fishy for next round. Hmm. Fox, you should make news. Oh, Fox News. Ha! No. <laughs> that is not an association I would like to draw. Oh my god. Come on, Peacock! Yeah! Victory. Do you mix up your birds intentionally? Not always. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just not thinking with my brain face. That was intentional, by the way. Uh, get rid of that. Put a little flamingo up there. We could use the elephant to boost the peacock, I guess. Hmm. Uh, maybe I sh should get rid of the flamingo I just bought. <laughs> More flamingo. Dag nabbit. He calls all birds flamingos, he'll be right eventually. That's right. That's the plan. Give them all one name and just treat them universally. I know what my brain's thinking about. Even if my mouth doesn't. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Uh, oh, I did it. Yeah. It was a draw. It wasn't a win, but it wasn't a loss either. In that circumstance, I'll take it. Turn it 
Turtle, turtle. Oh, we got the pill also. Turtle and the pill. Freeze those. Gonna put the big fancy meat power on something here. We'll meet up our elephant a bit. That's why whenever I run Badger, I get B for it. Yeah, yeah, I haven't got the B yet. And slap a bee, uh, the bees on there, honey or whatever. That's a tough pig right there, man. Victory. Oh, nice. Come to peacock. I'm thinking I should get rid of this fish. I just put the meat on the elephant though, that's silly. I was thinking I'd get rid of the fish, buy the turtle, put the turtle at the front and peel it off to give the thing to the elephant. Keep the elephant alive longer. But then I won't have enough money. <laughs> So for now, we'll just stick that on the elephant. Uh, we'll get another shuffle in, I guess. Ooh, another turtle. Another badger, too. Another elephant. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to go with the turtle in business or not. What's my favorite food? I have no idea. Steak, maybe? Possibly roast beef? Cheesecake? I don't know. I like a lot of stuff. Sure, it's a pig now. You seem confused, even to even colorful. And listen, it was a pig. It was a pig flamingo. It's a blend of the two. Elephant, badger, shuffle. Oh, the hippo's so good. He's so good. Um. Crap. I don't know what to do now. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, I'll get rid of the fish and we'll buy the hippo. <laughs> I'd like to find a third turtle. That'd be handy. Hippo's overrated! Oh my god, don't talk down about Hippo that way. Oh my god. Come on, you can do it! Yeah! Small victories. Just sell everything. <laughs> Have a good night, Eddie. Uh, I'm gonna stick that on the hippo. Oh, penguin's so good too. I've only got two level twos though. Been kind of treating my treating my pets a little bit weakly here. Ow, oh, pills! Dang it! Maybe I should unlock one of these turtles. I'm not really intending to do a lot with them right now, anyway. Bison's gonna be no good if I don't have that. Let's get that. Uh, what if Canada ruled the world? Then it would be a whole lot of maple syrup around? I don't know. Kind of a random question, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, got all oh, that flamingo's gonna own me. Peacock, whatever. That thing's gonna own me. You know what it is, the bird thing. Don't make fun of my brain pan. Okay. Crap. I think I'm gonna get rid of the ant, maybe. Stick him up there for now. 
Oh my god, that's a terrible setup. <laughs> uh, ooh, if I put a chili on the flamingo... Sorry, on the peacock. Oh my god, I can't... My brain just won't work, alright? Just give it up. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. I should have pilled the ant instead of getting... Instead of selling it. That was dumb. I don't know. It's because I'm dumb, rabid. <laughs> I don't know why. I specialize in making mistakes. That's what I do. It's my shtick. <laughs> Self-destructed that time. Uh, oh, I should have kept that other turtle. I gotta have a level 2 turtle now. Naturally. Herp a derp. Oh. I don't know. Whatever. This, this one's a dud anyway. We're get, we're dying right here. <laughs> Gotta support the devs, you know. Yeah, I'll get the uh, I'm gonna get the DLC packs for this. So toast. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, it was fun. Uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, obviously, Above Snakes is the game we were playing for most of the stream. You can get that on Steam as a as a demo right now, and then the alpha is from like June thirteenth to twentieth. But uh, yeah, I'll get the uh, booster packs for this, and then have more critters that I can use inappropriately and make rabid mad at me. <laughs> but thanks again, everyone. I appreciate the super chats tonight as well. I'm as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.